Ferdinand. Princess. You visited the palace? Yes. <laughs> nice having you around. It's nice to be here. Dad, um, I need to get some fresh air outside. I'm bored. It's okay. Yeah. Mr. Ferdinand. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you, Princess. You're welcome, Miss. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's good to be back. Yeah. Hope is always where the heart is. Yes, I'm on my way. How can you come to the palace and leave without saying hi to me? Oh, please forgive me. I I came to discuss something with the king that wouldn't be of much interest to you. So forgive me. How would you know my interest when you never bothered finding out? You never can tell, you know. Well, uh, <laughs> true, but I just felt that you wouldn't be interested in you know, business at all. Well, I forgive you this time. But next time you come to the palace, make sure you come see me in my space and say hi to me before leaving. I'll have that in mind, my princess. <laughs> um, if you don't mind, I would like to show you my space so when you come next time, it won't be difficult for you to locate me. But now, princess, I, I have I this... will not take much of your time, all right? I know you're a very busy person. We'll be over it before you know it, so... Oof. Shall we? <sighs> okay. Why is the princess always acting like this? Is it that she's lost in after him? Got some taste. Huh? Beautiful decor. <laughs> Thank you. I like it. You know, Mr. Ferdinand, I've heard so much about you in the news. You're like a golden fish. Am I? You glow <laughs> everywhere you go. Thank you. I also like what you do in this community. Thank you. I like your personality. You are exactly the kind of man that will make me say yes forever. Uh, okay. Sorry, I, I'm just kidding. I yeah. don't take it too seriously. Sorry, it's a bit weird, but it's right. <laughs> I'll have to run now. All right. I hope to see more of you. I like to be closer to you. It's fine, my princess. We will see about that. Okay. I'll take care of you now. All right. Yeah. Bye.
are you? Okay, you didn't even bother to go out to tell me that you're here. You know you meant he'd been pocket phone calls. So I came in and didn't see you and decided to wait for you. How was your day, sir? Very thoughtful. Day was beautiful. Please sit. Sit. So what do you have for me? So I drafted out something, but it will be of no use until you decide on what particular project to embark on. Mm. So I take it that we do not have work for now. Not exactly. I'm working on what I told you about. But um, it will be ready before the end of this week. Mm. Mm. I see. But uh, we can have some fun uh, while you work, right? <laughs> Sir, but I just came to report back. I'll be done with... With what? I need to be finished with my work. You will finish. As a matter of fact, I think it's a beautiful thing that you're here on a day like this. Because I'd like for you to accompany me somewhere. It's, uh, you know, a neatly put together um, party with some esteemed friends of mine. Uh, you would like it. But what's your fashion style? Never mind. I'll have uh, Papa's attire hook you up. Um, have you styled up for the evening? What's sir? Yes. I'm not into the party and vast, vast uh, lifestyle. Ah, Guinea, Guinea, don't stretch it. Uh, relax. Papa's out. You all are asking like you do not know me again. Oh, do I need to reintroduce myself to you one more time? Don't worry, you don't need to introduce yourself. I mean. Basically, know who you are. <laughs> For real? Are you guys dating? I doubt if you guys are dating because I've not really seen you guys that much. Ferdinand? <laughs> Ferdinand is at the back of my pan. I mean, he's got no choice. I mean, check me out. Mm. Check me well, out. My dear, who wouldn't want to have all this? This is what a lot of girls out there spend millions of naira to achieve with surgery. But God Almighty gave it to me naturally. Why wouldn't he want me? The girl. But honestly, that guy is super hot. I know. But for real, you should know you're not the only woman that wants him all to yourself. You should have that in mind. I know I might not be the only woman that wants Ferdinand Ibeneme, but certainly I am the only woman that has what it takes to have him. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm not understanding something here. I literally thought you guys were already dating. Yeah, we, we are dating. <laughs> we are dating, but you know, he's a very busy person. And, um, you know, the distance... And then most times he tells me that, you know, he's busy with one or two presidential meeting and all. It's just distance. But I know there is more to it. I'll fix it. I'm a woman. <laughs> you have to close in on him. I mean, there is no time to check time. You are not going to allow another woman to take your man away from you. Unless maybe you guys are not actually dating. Brenda? If you don't have anything reasonable to say, just shut your mouth. What do you mean by that? I mean, why would I say we are dating while we aren't dating? Of course we are dating. Please mm. ignore Brenda. But Bella will not allow her zero. I mean, I was only trying to make sure that... No, 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 no. You shouldn't make sure of that. I'm a mature woman. I know exactly what I want and I can fix my relationship. That's oh. right. Here. Uh, how, how come I didn't notice your presence? I have been here for some time. Um, that's because I've been busy cleaning and uh, washing the whole house. Yeah. Maybe that's why I didn't notice. Yes. Oh, you, you didn't ask of me. Well, like you said, I figured that you'll be busy. I didn't want to bother you. I know. I've been busy, but you can never be a distraction to me. That's fine. You know what? I, I'll make it up to you. Thank 
Okay. Sure. Oh yes. Okay, I'll be looking forward to that. Yes. But the thing is that you, I know you're very busy, but it really hurts. You no longer avail yourself to us. Yeah, I know. I, I promise I'll do something about it. Are you sure? <laughs> then I'll be looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? I have to go. I have to be somewhere. Okay, that means I'll give you a call. Um, please speak when I call you. Sure. As long as I'm disposed. my hopes high and let her tell me that it's a joke because I will not take it lightly with you and who says I'm joking he told me to get him someone and I promised to get him someone hey are you saying it like this look at this babe Mr. Ferdinand Ibeneme told you to get him a cleaner hey how else my man to say it babe don't you know that this is the kind of contact I have been looking for? Since I opened this cleaning agent business in this village, I have never gotten a reasonable contact. And you are just saying it like this. And I know you'll be excited. So we'll be going there tomorrow. Which tomorrow? Biko, if you don't want me to be your nightmare this afternoon, take me there right now. Let's go and sign that contract. Eh. Ah. What? Now? Yes, now. If anything happens now, or maybe Mr. Ibn may give someone else the contract, what will you tell me? Janata, I am sorry. I never knew he would call someone else. Yeah. If you like yourself, let's go now and sign that contract before I'll change it for you, Biko. I know. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have told you about this thing today. I should have just waited until I'm ready to go there. Thank goodness you told me. Because I wouldn't have forgiven you if that contract was given to another person. Eh. Chamaka. Eh. Let's go inside and change. Good for you because eh, let's go fast, fast. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> This was about uh, earlier. Yeah. Okay. I want to. See? See this? If you have money, this works for you. You don't need to brag your head about things like this. People will just crack their minds for you. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? When you have money, this things work. I insisted I introduce her to you, sir. 
she is afraid that you're going to give the contract to someone else. Is that so? Ah, come on, my dear. Ah, rest easy. Yeah? The one who recommended you is one that I cannot deny anything. So you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Do you run a cleaning service? So how does it work? What you do the cleaning yourself or you have staff, people who work for you? I have people who work for me. Ah, yes, sir. That's, that's good. You would have to show her around the house. Right, and also get her to meet my PA. My PA would help you out with everything that you need to to get acquainted with, with this place and do a decent job. Okay, so you can resume tomorrow. It's fine. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, I'm grateful, sir. Sorry, sorry sir. I'm really, really sorry. Sorry, I'm... sir. Um, get it done, please. I'll take it. Yes. Your, your, your purse, please. Oh. Thank you, sir. a dream come true. So I will be working with the almighty Mr. Ferdinand even I know of the presidency. So I, I hope I can now hear a word for you. Now I can I can rest a bit. Thank you so much my beautiful friend. Thank you come give me a hug. Hey. Come on. Hey. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. I will never take your kindness for granted. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You are this your sweet mouth. This is the same mouth you're using to say that I am a ton on your flesh and that I stress you a lot. Why are you trying to spoil this sweet moment? <sighs> Don't let me remember how annoying you can be sometimes. Oh, see, I knew it. This show, this thing is always very temporary. <laughs> no, keep showing yourself. I was going to call Mr. Ferdinand and tell him that you're no longer interested in this job. Try it now. Try it, and I will send you packing out of this house with your loads on your head. You, you send me packing out of my own house? Yes. Wow. Have you not seen someone being sent out of her own house? Try it today, then you see me, you see me in action. I, I, I'm just going to continue. Eh? Because once you now you start crying. Chai. <sighs> oh my God. Chiamaka. We'll be working with the almighty Mr. Ferdinand. Ah! I'll be eating government's money. This is the best thing that has ever happened to me. This is the kind of life I want to live. The life I've been praying and waiting for. Ah, my girl. I hope you don't blow everything up. I know I am mad. That's why you love me. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, I'm so happy. There's no other woman befitting for him other than me. He deserves a princess as a wife. Mm -hmm. And I'll make sure he marries me. Wow, that sounds nice. But are you sure he does not have any woman in his life? Does it matter? I don't care. Look, I know the power I possess as a woman. Was she my princess? I get any man I want. Oh, yes. And Ferdinand will not be an exception. Baby Lord. The sweetest, I mean, the softest woman I've ever seen in my life. The most beautiful, most elegant, most charming of them all. Girl, your heart. That's me, Princess Grace. The whole embodiment of grace. Oh, girl. No man can resist this charm. Girl, 
He coming down small, small. Okay? See, if you really want this guy in question, hmm, believe me. I think you need more than a physical charm. Excuse you? <laughs> Use more than physical charm? What exactly do you mean by that? Exactly the question I was going to ask. What do you mean by that? Where is your boss? He just stepped out, not too long ago. Then what are you doing here? Aren't you done for work today? Have an unfinished work. Get yourself busy. Get inside that house and get me a glass of juice. Right now, hurry up. Good afternoon, ma. Welcome, ma. Are you daft or something? I said go get me a glass of juice. I'm thirsty. That's what I said. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Ma, that's my job. I'll get it right here. No! I do not want you to. She must do it. I asked her. Hey, go in there and do what I asked you to do. Ma, I'm the one that works here. Maybe just... Will you shut up? Shut that tramp you call a mouth. Are you... Are you trying to banter words with me? Is that what you're trying to do? She works for my man. Indirectly, she works for me as well. Hey, if you do not want to lose your job, go in there and do what I asked you to do. But ma... It's fine. I'll get it. Right. I don't understand why all this low life thing there, there's something where they're nothing. Hey, and why are you looking at me like that? Are you a witch? Sorry, ma. Take a miserable self inside and get busy. Nonsense. Rubbish. Get me a glass of juice and she's whining her mouth. Oh God. Oh, let me just come into this house. Let me just come in. Let me just come in. Hello. Here's your miserable. glass of juice. Are you that stupid? I mean, how dare you serve my juice behind me? And to make matters worse, you even brought it without a tray. What part of bush did you come up for? This is not my house. I just managed to serve it with what I could see. And you can't ask questions. Common sense couldn't tell you to ask questions. Are you so blind? Huh? Hey. Take that rubbish out of this place and serve it the proper way. What? You heard me? You heard me! Right now! Will you come back here? Are you walking out on me? How did... Oh my goodness. What gods? Please tell your boss I had to go. Um, I'll be back before he leaves for Abuja tomorrow. But I hate when he asks you to wait until he gets back. You know what? Don't worry. I'll call him. Oh, is it because of her? Don't bother about her. She's irrelevant to my boss. He does not like her the way he likes you. She's the one pushing herself towards him. I am not leaving because of her. I'm leaving because I think it's the best thing to do at the moment. Please, don't tell your boss about what happened in there. My boss will not even listen to me. He doesn't have time for something like this. Fine. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. What is the problem? 
Listen, it's not all this over pompous, sport, rich madams that feel like they have the right to tremble upon you because they are rich. So tell me, who provoked you? It's not Ferdinand's girlfriend. So I respected her because of Ferdinand. Girl. Can you imagine her? F on tree. The gods. Like what the hell does she even think she is? Whatever she thinks she is, she can keep it there. That's her business, not my business. Huh? What exactly happened? Yeah, madam. I hope you're not planning on spoiling show from you. Because if you get the girlfriend angry, she might make him sack you. And who cares? I'm not even doing the job because of the money. I'm just trying to help Mr. Ferdinand because I like what he does. He was the one that even insisted to pay him money. I wasn't the one that said so. Are you trying to tell me that you can work for free for just anybody you see? Or is there something you are not telling me? Madam. Do you like Mr. Ferdinand? It depends on the kind of life you're talking about. Because if it's what you're thinking about, no. Good for you. Because someone of his class can never date someone in our class. I don't told you that I want to date someone in his class. <laughs> that this one. Who don't like better too? Mr. Ferdinand is every woman's dream. No woman can resist him. Just know that we all don't like the same thing in life. Some people just want a private and drama-free life. Yeah. Story for the gods. You still haven't told me what transpired between you and the girlfriend. Let's talk about it. It happened back there and I want you to stay back there. Thank you so much for the compliments. You're welcome. You made the job so easy for us. My workers were so happy while leaving. Uh, they should be happy. Uh, they also made me happy. I mean, this place sparkles. Look, look, look at the work they did. They did an amazing job, I must say. You paid for your house to sparkle. So it should sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, thank you. I was your friend, Ginika, by the way. I hope that um, she's fine. Was she home when you left? Um, <laughs> what? Did I say something? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have asked me this question four times since I came here. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't realize it. Okay, let me, let me ask the, for the last time. You just, just for emphasis. Who? How is your friend, Ginika? Mm. I hope she was fine and doing well when you left the house. Oh my god. Oh yes, oh yes. Yes, she was fine. She was fine when I left the house. She was working when I left the house. Mm -hmm. okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Now I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, sir, let me come and start going. So you'll be able to do whatever you want to do at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's fine. I, I was actually enjoying your company. I, I think you're fun to be with, actually. Inolo. Yeah. Insulin. <laughs> okay. Me. Chiamaka. Fun to be with. Ejebe <laughs> donum. Ejebe donum. Oh my goodness. This is the best thing that any man or woman or even people that you're working for, they have never told me this thing for the past 10 years. This is the best thing I have heard. <laughs> For the past 10 years. 10 uh, years. 10 years of Polako. <laughs> you're a clown, honestly. You are indeed a clown. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Chiawaka is a clown. <laughs> Chiawaka is a clown. Oh. If I can make a man like you smile, then I am fulfilled. I am a complete human. I am a clown. I am a clown. <laughs> You are hilarious. How can you imagine a thing like that? Why not? 
Why not? I'm telling you, we, we could try it out if you want. That is impossible. People will not take that thing as normal. They will run for their life. I don't agree with John Johnson. <laughs> I don't agree with you. Listen, if I was much younger and had nothing to lose, I would have tried it. Tried what? I'd be shocked. People would just look at it and go about normal life's activities. Listen, we worry too much about what people would say. She will try. Try what? I'm not trying. No, 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 no. I'm not going to try that. <laughs> And what exactly is going on here? Good afternoon. Keep your miserable greetings to yourself. I can see you're really busy. You are busy. That explains why you were not taking my calls. How are you, Tom? In my wildest imagination, I would never believe that you would descend so low to relate like that with a common cleaner. A cleaner for that matter. Look how she was all over you. It's so obvious that she wants something else. You know what? Stop it. Stop being childish. This is totally unnecessary. Oh. I'm being childish now, right? I'm being childish. Have you related to me the way you did to that low life? No, you haven't. I saw the way you were blushing. And you're trying to tell me that there's nothing going on between you two. All right, that's enough, Ijemma. You are you're being ridiculous, honestly. What is your problem? What exactly do you want? I'd like to know. You have a problem with me not taking your calls or you have a problem with the fact that I relate with my, my staff? Everything is my problem. Every goddamn thing is my problem. Come on. I mean, you treat me like a common stranger. You don't treat me well. You know that. I was even giving excuses for you thinking that maybe you, you don't like to chat or you don't like to play. Not knowing that you, you have people you, you're free with, you like to, to chat with. What do you want? I want your attention. I want you to loosen up a bit. Listen. I want to be able to know what you love. I want to know your likes and dislikes. I want to know you. I want to be able to connect with you. That is what I want. I mean, I'm not asking for too much, am I? Listen, if you keep nagging me the way you do, you would, be, you would force me to stay away from you. I don't like it. But I'm no longer nagging. I was just, I was just trying to express myself. I'm a woman. I'm, and I feel jealous when I see people around my man. What? What? Hey. Babes. Babes. Mr. Ferdinand even is such a sweetheart. This is the kind of one I want to live the rest of my life with. Oh my goodness. I never felt like leaving his house. He's so kind. With all his money, he still finds a way of being humble. Hi. Oh God. Don't tell me you're crushing on him. You said? Who will not crush on such a sweet, fine man with humility and great sense of humor? Eh? To crown it all, he is rich and influential. It's just that he's not even looking my way. Ah. Good for you. Because that crush will be a waste of crush. You can't compete with the kind of women coming and throwing themselves at him. Ah, you can't. Yeah, I noticed it. On my way home, I saw the sister to that worthy politician. What was that his name again? Um, Chief Ilo? Yeah, Chief Ilo or something. Yeah. When I was with Ferdinand, she saw me. She felt like... <laughs> but no way for her. <laughs> ah! Thank you, God. It was just looks. If you know what is good for you, Jamaka, mm. avoid problem. Mm. Stay away. Story. She's lucky he's not giving me green lights. If not, babes, that reminds me. That man likes you. 
Mm. I know he likes me, but not the type of like you're really thinking about. I'm just there for the services, and he pays me well. Chamaka, that's all. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Ferdinand Ibeneme is calling. Mm. Not even trying to tell me that he's calling because of work. Mm. Not try it. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. I'm fine, sir. And you? Nothing for now, sir. Nothing. I don't think Chamaka is disposed at the moment. Eh? I am free! Oh. I, I am free, sir. I, am, I'm, I don't know whatever you are saying, but I am free! Yes, sir. She was, yes, she's the one. Okay, sir. I don't understand why he wants us to hang out somewhere in town for the weekend. Hey! Is it where you're there, Oh! Oh my God! And you wanted to remove me from the outing, eh? Thank your stars, you did not succeed. If not, I don't understand. No, I don't understand. Why does he want us to hang out? What about his girlfriend? That boils down to what I was telling you. I noticed it the very day you took me there. And today, I just confirmed my suspicion. That man likes you. But Chamaka, this is the same you that said that Mr. Ferdinand cannot do with Anything that has to do within our class. Echamaka, please speak his tongue. I was only saying based on his status as the SSA to the president that he would not want to have anything to do with space of our class. But that does not mean he cannot like someone of our class. But let me tell you, someone of our class can actually sweep him off balance. I'm sensing that. Yes. And I almost forgot that you're grounded in philosophy and logic. Chamaka, please. Let me be. Oh my God. Alone with that charmer for the weekend. I will bring out the real man in him and he would yell for more. <laughs> Babes! What is going on? Why is Mr. Ferdinand Ibinime playing hard to get? No man has ever resisted my charm. Does it mean he has not been noticing all the green lights that I've been throwing at him? Or is there another woman? I have to find out what is going on and take care of it. I can't allow him to slip off my fingers. He is my kind of man and I must have him. Father. Hi. My princess. I thought you stepped out. Oh. No, I was outside. Actually, I wanted to go out, but I changed my mind. Okay. Father, there's something I would like to discuss with you. Something like what? I hope it's not about money. Because if it is, I certainly will not give it to you. Recall I told you I will not give you any money until next month. All right? But if you keep pestering me about money, then I'll be left with no option but to find you a job. Because if you start working, then you will know the value of money and you will spend it wisely. Father, that's not why I'm here. Though we need to revisit that topic. Why should I work for money when my father has enough money that can take care of an entire community as long as they live? You see why I say you need to have a paradigm shift in your thinking. 
So I have enough money to feed the whole world. So you spend my money the way you want. It's all right. If you say we'll revisit it, fine. At the right time, we will. So now, why are you here? Father, when is Mr. Ferdinand Ibinime visiting this palace again? Ferdinand? Is anything the matter? Father, can you just answer my question and stop asking me another question? It's all right. Um, I don't know when Mr. Ferdinand Ibenime will be visiting. You have to make him visit. I need to see him. Why? If you want to see Mr. Ferdinand Ibenime, you know what to do. Book an appointment. Yes, go and see him. You don't expect to get everything in life in a platter of gold. You have to work for it. Yes. You need to walk your way to your desires. Father, I am a princess. Princess? But the last time I checked, you are not a disabled princess. What is this argument, Dad? I'm not in the mood for this kind of argument. You are a princess, and you have all it takes to find your way to anywhere you want to be, anybody you want to see. You can say. So why come to me for everything? Father, this is unfair. I don't like the way you are treating me in this palace. I don't like it at all. Good afternoon, Madam Princess. How can I be of help? What infantry? Like you don't know who I've come to see? In case if you don't know, I am Mr. Kotoliba, the well paid chief security officer of this edifice. If you have an appointment with my boss, I would have been informed. Well, go in there. Tell him that Princess Grace is here to see him. And why will I go inside and tell my boss that somebody is here to see him? When I'm looking at you already, if you have an official appointment with my boss, I should have been informed. But it's not late. You can put a call across to him, send text messages to him, or better still, send an email. We are digital. We are digitalized. If I go there, you will fire me. And I'm not ready for that gamble. So you're afraid to lose your job? Well, if you don't go in there and tell him that I'm around, I will make sure you lose your job. Are you stupid? Do you know who is standing before you? Listen up. In my palace, I have subordinates like you. Servants who worship the ground I step on. They don't speak when I speak. They dare not. Madam Princess, do not be offended. With all due respect given, I will still obey my boss. Madam, no you they pay me. You're stupid. Hey, hey, Madam. Madam Princess, I don't want to touch you. Don't push me. Leave my view now. And if you lay your hands on me, I will lock you up out of my hey, way now. Hey, madam, you're constituting, you're constituting exactly, and it's not allowed. I will call the police. Get out! Hey, I don't want to get out, madam princess. Hey, see, you are you are breaking the laws and you are trespassing. I will not allow it. And for this your action, I will call the police on your case and tell them that the royal hoodlum has come to terrorize my boss. How dare you lay your infested hands on me? Do you want to infect me? Are you stupid? I will make sure you pay for this. Hey, hey, hey. Go nowhere, my friend. Father said you should let her in. Ah, 
Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. Let her in. Hold on. Let me check. But Oga have not said any mail to me. Please, go to me, but let her in. He said so. You know what? I have dedicated all my life to serving boss. I will not allow any royal hoodlum, royal terrorist, royal gun woman to come and terrorize my boss. You know I will not allow it. But uh, since you have said so, uh, who am I to say otherwise? Uh, Madam Princess, you can. Useless, poverty stricken son of a nobody. I will make sure you are fired. Madam, you are talking rubbish. There's nothing you will do. Come on, I hope this can come from the road so that, so that the important people from the presidency can visit. Come on, let me leave that from the road. There's nothing you will do that will affect me. I'm sure I'm not going to stop. Ah, princess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I was actually watching you on my security camera. He, he didn't look good. Huh? My apologies, please. I'm sorry, princess. What kind of a stupid gay man do you have? Very disrespectful and foolish. Who assigns such a man to a gate? He has no regard for royalty. Calm down, he was just doing his job. So his job is to insult your visitors? Oh no, come on, you're, you're getting it twisted now. I, I mean, if you had told me that you were coming to see me, I'm positive that, that wouldn't have happened. You didn't tell me you, you were coming, you just showed up. And he got defensive, that's what happened. I'm sorry. How do I even call you when you don't take your calls? Yeah, um, about that, I, I'm sorry. Again, it's just that I've been very, very busy. I, you know, it's been a very busy weekend for me. And so, so, as you can see, I'm all dressed up, you know, heading out for another meeting. It's busy times for me. Hold on. You dressed for a meeting? Are you leaving me here all by myself? Ah, uh, okay, you know what? Uh, how about you just go back home? Okay, just go back to the palace. When I'm done, I would, I'll call you and then you can come back. You can talk. Ferdinand, I came all the way here just to see you. And you're sending me back home? Really? This meeting was already scheduled before you showed up on announced. Remember, you know what? I'll give you my word. I'll call you. It's a promise. Please. Are you sure? Is that a promise? Well, yeah, it's a promise. I'll call you. Fine. I'll be expecting your call. When next you hear me talking, you keep quiet. Eh? You, you think it's easy to open this hard gate? This is a hard gate. Hard steel. Your own is just to be walking around, uh, walking front and drinking juice. And other people will be doing the cleaning for you after you collect money and uh, leave them smoking. You are a correct, see, a correct hoodlum, maybe. You are a Chris. Don't call me a hoodlum. Do you think supervising all these jobs, this business, do you think it's easy? You know, easy, bros. See. After that long drama, dra drama, a big drama that you just spoke, put your hand inside your purse and, and anoint my hand. See, I, 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 it's not easy. If I come in tomorrow, bring food for me. Hey, I will have, or in fact, buy something for me. I will appreciate it. <laughs> something tangible. So, all these scopes is just for me to buy you something. Just say it straight. Straight. And I will get it for you. I'm not stingy now. Huh? I, I, hey, I'm not stingy. I love beautiful people that have good heart that are not stingy. Okay, if you are coming tomorrow, eh? cook for me. Bring it. Delicious trust me. Hey, you understand? <laughs> wow. Is that not the princess of this land? Who is, who is, who is Madam Princess? If you like say, no, no, who my yoga be? My yoga is the next president of this nation. Princess is a nobody to him. Hey! Stop. Wow. My princess. Uh, Good afternoon, madam. How are you, ma? Ah. Welcome, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Uh -uh. Ah, you're very welcome, ma. Ah, we'll stop now. <laughs> ma ma madam, I almost missed you. <laughs> I almost missed you because I'm running off. 
you know, to, to catch up with somebody. I, 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 have, I have a meeting. Yeah, somewhere. I almost missed you, ma. Please, I, won't, I don't want to lose my job. Bro. I know you will not lose your job, ma. Because I'm wondering why you're just coming to work, ma. Uh, At this time of like the day, this. ma. Please. What happened, ma? Uh, I'm sorry. I got another contract, so they delayed me a little. Pardon me. You got a contract? Yes, sir. That's more money. <laughs> that is good. Uh, Give me like 15%. Uh, yes, now, come on. We'll stop now. What are you going to be doing with this kind of money? What are you talking about? One plus one is two. No matter how small I add to what I already have. Listen, you, okay, let's do 10%. Now. It's called Yeah, we're here. You've not heard of it before. Oh, yeah, we're here. Please. I'm sorry, pardon me. It's uh, fine. Uh, which is my princess? I'll see you when I return, eh? Uh, boss. Huh? Boss. You are hot, though. The princess of this land is in your house. Shut up, she can't hear you. Get out! Get out! Be. Mr. Fedna did not call you. He asked his driver to drop me so he can pick you up. He's waiting outside. I'm just seeing his missed calls. I was working, so I didn't want anybody to stop me. And you did not see mine too? Mm -hmm. Somebody will be calling you. You will not pick your call. And you know that the person you are working with can call you at any time. I don't understand. Is it that she didn't get what I said or what? I don't care. Don't just keep him waiting. There is something very urgent he wanted to fix. He has been calling you since. Huh? Ah, wait. I don't understand it's your attitude these days. Eh? Whose friend are you again? My friend or Mr. Ferdinand? What, what was happening? It doesn't matter. Moreover, just go and do your work. You now always follow the moving train now. We trade. How they follow? Go and answer him, please. Let me call you him back. You, you, you are just. Ah. Oh my God! Ah, shit. Brother, I honestly do not know why you're ignoring me. This is totally unfair. All I want is your influence. I know you can talk to this man. You can actually do this for me if I were to be your daughter. Why would you say a thing like that? Why wouldn't I say a thing like that? You know how much I love and want Mr. Ferdinand. He listens to you. You are his godfather. All I want is for you to talk to him to take our relationship seriously. Is it the relationship you're forcing him into or word? See, so by now you should have known that I... I will always support you. I've always wanted the best for you. But this, I mean, it's a no-no for me. I cannot allow you force yourself on a man. How do you want me to do that? I'm not doing that. I'm not forcing myself on him. This man in question actually likes me a lot. It's just that he's been distracted with a lot of things. But if you talk to him, it will be better for us. Please. Okay, okay. Let me, let me put it... Clearly to you, so that you will understand. This is going to be the last thing that I will ever do. Yes. Now listen. If a man wants you, he definitely will come for you no matter what. I cannot allow you to force yourself on a man. I cannot. I mean, say something. This person is your boyfriend. It's not like he does not have the money. He should be able to throw a big party for you on your birthday. Well, well, well. My own is that he should also invite his rich friends because I need to hook up with one or two. Not be only hook up. They are fish now. I mean, what rubbish are both of you talking about? We are not even sure if this guy is dating her. What if he takes her like a sister? Just the way the brother is like a father to him. Can you keep quiet, Brenda? 
If you don't have anything reasonable to say, must you talk? What are you saying? Wait, Brenda. Are you, are you jealous of me? Jealous of you? Oh, come on, Ijema. I mean, I can't be jealous of you. I have my own ma. I was only trying to be realistic here. That is the only way we can tackle this issue. Hey, hold on. What reality are you talking about here? Ask her. No, no, no. Ask her. Because it's quite obvious that Brenda is head bent on getting on my nerves. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I was only trying to show concern. But since my opinion is not needed, I will just mind my business. Yes. You will have to mind your business, Brenda. And you will continue to mind that business of yours for a very long time. Do you understand that? But for real, what if what Brenda said is the truth? I mean, it's your baby we are talking about here. If he's taking you serious, he should go all out to make sure you have a memorable birthday celebration. Oh, um, Mechipuanoye, shut up that little mouth of yours. What are you talking about? What are you guys even blabbing about? Don't people surprise their girlfriends these days? He could have another plan for me. Well... He might want to surprise me. What's the big deal? <sighs> Ask them. Ask them. I don't know why you just keep opening your mouth and be spewing nonsense. Open it and rubbish will be coming out of your mouth. Don't mind them. Some people will not allow someone to shine. Shashay, mm -hmm. Goodbye. Just consign. Yes, Just consign. So this is the person who has been distracting him from recognizing all the green lights I have been throwing at him. That dirty low life. Can you imagine how excited he was when he saw her? He has never acted that way towards me. I have to do something about this. I will never allow any woman to take what belongs to me. Not that low life. Father. Ah, please excuse us. Please say the word. Princess, we need to talk. Father, I hope this is not one of your lecture time because I am not in the mood for it. My daughter, I have tried my best as a single parent to play the role of both your father and your mother since we lost your mother. But you are not trying to help me to achieve this moral task. I mean, what do you gain by trying to make things more difficult for me? I don't understand. Father, what offense have I committed this time around? What happened to your last YouTube? I mean, I've been waiting for him to come back. Up till now, I've not seen him. What is the problem? But I already told you I don't want him. Why are we even discussing this? I know what I want in a man. You know what you want in a man. So what is that thing that you want in a man that you've not seen in the numerous men, over 10, that have come to ask your hand in marriage? What is that thing? I mean, what's the problem with you? Is it that you don't want to get married or what? Father, I would love to get married. Good. In fact, I have found a man that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Why didn't you say this all this while? Why hasn't he come to see me? That's because we're still working on it. We need your help to make it happen. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your daughter. Getting married to the most influential, wealthy, and eligible son of the soil. To be honest with you, I'm completely lost. Father, I want Mr. Ferdinand Ibeneme to get married to me. I want you to help and see that it happens. He loves and listens to you. He respects you, so... No, please just shut up! Shut up this minute! What is this? Huh? I mean, 
You said this man is not interested in you. You said so yourself. Now, how can you leave the numerous men that are interested in you and you want to force yourself or sway this man to, to, to love you by force? How? Why? Father, I am not saying you should force him to get married to me. Just apply some little tricks. Like, make him come to the palace. Even if you don't have anything to discuss with him, just tell him nice things about me. That's all. No big deal. Listen, young woman, you will not reduce me to such a level. I will not accept that your frivolous proposal. I will not. Just pick from any of those men that are interested in you and stop forcing yourself on somebody who is not interested in you. Okay? You have spoken like the king that you are. Now, I will speak like the princess that I am. I will get married, but it has to be Mr. Ferdinand Ibineme. You better start thinking of how to make it happen. Because if I don't marry Ferdinand, I am never getting married in this life. Oyeze, I know you are worried about your daughter, the princess of this great kingdom. Exactly. I am worried, and that is why I sent for you. I am worried about the way she rejects every suitor that comes for her hand in marriage. Now, I don't know how you can help me solve this problem. Do I continue to get worried? Or do I relax and allow the gods of our ancestors to rise up to the occasion and solve the problem for me? My king, the ways of the young is always different from the ways of the old. My king, I will advise, do not force your ways on the young because it will always backfire. Ichio Kudo, I invited you here because of the respect I have for you as a seer. Amongst all the seers in this kingdom, you are one with a reputation that is unparalleled and everybody is conversant with that fact. Whatever you have not seen, it has not been created by God. And that's exactly why I invited you to help me solve this problem. Uh, my king, what exactly do you want from me? Good question. I want you to tell me what her future looks like. I want you to tell me, is she going to get married or is she going to remain single? Because from the way things are going, I'm afraid she's going to remain single and be lonely forever. And that spells doom. As a matter of fact, I'm beginning to think that that is her fate. My king. Tell someone his or her future, and the person has no future. I am not telling you to tell her her future. I'm asking you to talk to me. What is the future of my daughter with respect to her marriage? how to marry the first man that she will agree to marry.
Does it mean Ferdinand is supposed to be her husband? Anyway, give this to your boss. Tell him I'll be back before he leaves Abuja tomorrow. No. He said you should wait for him to return before leaving. But I should not let you leave. <laughs> Isn't it funny? There's no way your boss can say anything like that. There's nothing I have to do for him here. Have I ever lied to you before? He said I should not let you out of the house. And you know that he likes to be around whenever he's around. I know. But what I have to do for him here yeah, is done. So I have to go. It's obvious some people have eyes but cannot see. And they have sense but cannot make use of it. Hey, baby. Are you insulting me? How can I? Am I mad? This is just an adage to illustrate something. I tend to use the most time. Um, moreover, how can I insult someone that will soon be my madam? Even my village people cannot make me do that. I see you're taking something. I see you're dragging bottles of beer with the cage man. Yo. Funny, I don't take a goal. Okay, fine. Go in and get me a bottle of juice and chicken lap. Since you and your boss don't want me to go to my house, let me sit here and enjoy it. Is that what you want? You know, I can give you whatever you want. My boss is capable. That's all I want. I'm at your service, ma'am. <laughs> Again, don't you have work hours? Must you be here at all times? Must you? Good afternoon, ma'am. Good evening, dummy. I asked a question. Must you be here every now and then? I mean, can't I come to my man's place without seeing your face? What is wrong with you? What is your problem? What exactly have you come here to do? Huh? I came to drop something for him. Are you not done dropping whatever it is you came to drop? Hmm? You won't leave? What is it with you? Must you tell the world that you're so poor that you can't even afford ordinary talkie and, and juice? Must you tell the world? Must you? Ma, my boss said that she should wait for him to return. For what exactly? She said she came to drop something. She should drop it and leave. Or is your home poorly maintained and so dirty that you can't even stay there? I was warned that he said that she wait for him. And who are you to insist? A brat? I don't understand. Who are you to insist? Well, if you must know, I called my man and he told me that he is on his way back. He doesn't need any disturbance. He needs to rest. And I'm here to make sure of that. So... Madam, I came to drop something. Can you quickly drop whatever it is you came to drop and get out? Now. Uh -huh. Drop it. Drop her. And you. Um. Ma, my boss will be very angry if he gets to hear about this. And who will tell him? You? Well, let me go inside and get his food ready. I'll be the one to serve him tonight. I didn't get that. Are you also daft? Will you go in and get his food ready? Will you, uh, come take this rubbish away. You have to find a way. Even if it means volunteering yourself to work for him. You just do anything that will make you close to him. No. Princess Grace. 
I don't think you have to push this too hard. Take it easy, one step at a time. You don't have to show him you like him. It doesn't always go down well with men, trust me. I can't believe I'm losing sleep over a man. Me, princess. <laughs> this life. And no balance. No balance at all. As in, eh? Our princess, our dear friend that has been rejecting suitors left, right, front, and center. <laughs> at least you need to feed their pain small. Take it easy. <clears throat> what is even wrong with him? He's too full of himself, forming busy and over principled. My princess, you have to calm down. We need to plan for Mr. Ferdinand Ebenemi. We need to make him fall helplessly for you. Sweet talk. Sweet talk. We got you. You are a friend. I need a concrete plan. It's either I get Ferdinand Ebenemi or no woman will ever have him. That is my princess That's talking. This thing now is a very small case. Believe me, if we reason this matter hey, with yeah, all seriousness, hey. this guy will be fought just like him. <laughs> That's my girl! <laughs> Chill, girl! We got you. You don't know us. Ma. His meal is ready, but he won't allow you to step him. I am the only one allowed to step his meal. Or you can take permission from him. Let's me. Fine. You keep quiet. What's the meaning of that? I cannot be able to save my man. That's the rule, Ma. Rule? You cannot save me. But I asked you to wait for me to return before you go back home. Oh, that's a day, but I have things to do. You always have something to do. Good evening, sir. Good Welcome, evening. sir. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Fine, sir. Uh, is my meal ready? Yes, sir. I'll get it ready right after your bath. I see. It's fine. No, 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 don't leave. Just wait. Go now. Hey, Jim, I see that you're here. Yes, I'm here. I thought I told you that I was very tired. I wasn't expecting to see you here. The more reason I decided to come to, you know, make you feel good. And at the same time, you know you'll be traveling, so I feel we need to see before you travel. So thoughtful of you. Thank you very much for allowing me to see you. It means a lot. It's nothing. I can do anything for you. My dear Ijema, the truth is that I'm very, very, very tired. I've had a very busy day. I just want to go up there, have my bath, come down, eat something, and then hit my bed and sleep till tomorrow. I'd advise that you please just, you know, come home, right? I would call you if need be. You don't have a problem with that. If that's exactly what you want, of course, why not? I'll just go and let you do what you want to do. I should go as well so you rest. Hey, Bobby. Sir. I want you to tell the gate man not to open the gate for me She's not allowed to leave here. Sure, so, sir. Until I say otherwise. If you need anything, talk to her. She'll make it available. Let me have my bath. I'll be right back. to have a peaceful moment in this presidential lounge that both of you decided to invade this vicinity to take away the peace. What is this staring competition about? What is the meaning of this? That question should be directed to you. 
Okotoligba. Do you just open my man's gate for any tramp that passes by? What exactly is she doing here? Huh? Excuse me. Who is this daughter of a nobody referring to? Excuse you? Am I the one you just referred to as a daughter of a nobody? Well, just so you know, this is my man's house. And he is so tired right now, he is not aware of this intuition. You're not supposed to be here. What did you just say? Who is your man? Are you daft or so? Are you so daft? I don't know if it's fight that both of you are planning, but let me warn you once more that this is an extension of presidency. No nonsense, no fight is allowed in this vicinity. Am I understood? Who is your man? Ferdinand. Ibeneme is my man and this is his house. And you don't have any right whatsoever to come here without his notice. So you don't have any right whatsoever to keep hopping from one place to another looking for someone else's man to take. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You're very stupid and useless to say that. Look at this wannabe. How dare you speak to me in such a derogatory manner? Have you suddenly forgotten your place? Do you have a place? Just take a very good look at yourself. Do you have a place? As a matter of fact, you're the one that is extremely stupid. You're mad. In fact, you have gone nuts. Look at you. Hey, you think I will bow to your authority simply because you're a low-budget princess? A classless one at that? Who hops from one house of a man to another because you cannot control the thing between your legs? Are you not that shameless? Now you, you want to talk back at me? As far as I'm concerned, you are nothing but another cheap skirt looking for a wayward trouser. I have no single regard for you, shameless thing. Hey, listen. Abuse is allowed. Insult is allowed in this vicinity because it's part of the entertainment. But fighting is not allowed. No nonsense is permitted here. But it's Gemma. You see that last one he said now? I that one enter. One throw from his Gemma. Over to Princess Grace, supposedly. It's obvious you are sick upstairs. You are suffering from a serious mental illness and you need a psychiatric evaluation. I don't have time for a low life, classless, shameless creature like you. Just because you sleep around with men to afford some petty luxury doesn't mean you have arrived. You're just a cheap prostitute. <laughs> I laugh in Igbo. Look at you. Get to calling pot black. Me, a prostitute. What about you? What about you that have slept with all your father's guards and all the cleaners in the palace have slept with? You are calling me a prostitute. Do you know what you are? You are worse than a prostitute. You are, in fact, eh, let me not use English. You will be royal. Hmm. Royal or low show? How you be? Royal or low show? That is what you are. And I never knew who. What did you just call me? Roya or no show? What's it all? Did you just let us? I will do it again. Hey, the young man will seize every opportunity to remind people that I trained him. But the truth is that he made a way for himself. So I am not ready to take credit for what may not be my, my soul and work. You understand? That is the point I'm trying to make. Uh, excuse me, I, I'll talk to you later. Give me a few minutes. What is it this time? You're looking like a wounded woman. You are not far from the truth, bro. I am really wounded. I mean, why are you doing this to me? Why will you sit and continue to watch them not insult me like this? What have I done? You made this man. You still have the power to unmake him. I mean, why would you sit and allow him insult your sister? Your only sister for, for, for that matter. You still haven't said what is the problem. I asked you a simple question. What exactly is the problem this time? Okay, I was there today. I went to see him. And then he had the guts to ask me to leave just so he could invite the princess. 
Ferdinand is cheating on me with that thing. Are you very sure about this, that he's cheating on you? Yes, I'm sure. I was there today. He came in and told me that he was tired and he needed to rest. As a humble and respectful girlfriend, I decided to leave and allow my boyfriend rest. But alas, I got outside and saw the princess driving in. I was surprised. Then she confirmed to me that Ferdinand actually invited her over. Have you asked me, I still don't understand what exactly you're talking about. How can someone cheat on you when you're not dating? Is it not obvious that you're the one forcing yourself on him? No, is it not? So I would rather you stop complaining. Don't! Is that all you have to say to me? What the hell do you want me to say? Is that all you have to say to me after telling you everything? You claim to love and care for me like your own child, yet you treat me like a total stranger. Oh, oh, I don't want you to go there, please. I want you to grow up and stop behaving like a child. Grace, do not always capitalize on the fact that I love you so much and conveniently forget that I am the king. Father, if truly you are the king, prove it. Use your position to do the right thing. What are you talking about? I don't know why you have refused to help me achieve my life goals. First, I told you I wanted to do my master's abroad. You said no, that you need me around. Secondly, I told you I wanted to become an actress. You said no, that I shouldn't be seen messing around on TV. Now I am begging you for just this one thing. Help me get Ferdinand to like me. Help me make him want me. You said no. What have I done to you, father? What? Grace. Why are you asking for impossibilities? Why? I love you, yes. You are my everything, yes. I will do anything for you, yes. Grace, I am ready to go to the end of the world for you. Then why are you not doing it? Because the promises I made to you do not include denting my image. Oh. Yes. I mean, if you love Ferdinand so much, go for him. Work for it. I can't be seen doing that for you because it's not an honorable act. Fine. I hope it will be honorable for you if I remain single all the rest of my life. Because if I don't marry Ferdinand, I will never marry again. Grace, you are a disappointment for offering such repugnant and nauseated words before me. Fine. Fine, if that is what you want, so be it. Fine. I don't know what to do right now. My father has refused to help me. Ferdinand is becoming annoying. Oh, I'm running out of options. You know why he's been so annoying. You saw it. You already have a girlfriend. And the girl is a sister to one of the most influential men of this town. Girl, I think you need to let this one go. Never. I'm never giving up. After all, he's not married to her. If actually he loves her, why is he not married to her? He has money and he's of age too, so... Exactly what I was thinking. I think the princess still have a chance. I mean, if he loves her, why are they not married? Um, girls. Princess Grace. We need to find a way to humble that Ijema girl. They have to break up for her plans to work. We need to make her look bad in the eyes of everybody. I mean, let them just despise her for no reason. Mm. With that, Ferdinand will stop associating himself with her. Because as a politician, he won't want to get married to a bad person. Mm. And then through that way, zap, you will come in as a consolation prize. 
to him. You're smart, girl. Wisdom will not kill me. I don't see how wisdom will not go kill you. You're smart. I think you're making sense. See, goodness, it's not all about coming up with an invisible plan. How do we go about it? Or you will think once you open your mouth and say it, the thing will start happening. That's true. How do we achieve it? That would have been the first question to ask before confirming to what she said. Um, anyway, I, I don't know how we are going to achieve it. At least I tried to come up with a wonderful idea, I mean a PowerPoint. Somebody else should do the remaining one now. You should just... I've tried. Yeah, come on now. How do you bring up an idea you have no way we can achieve? Who does that? My princess. Just calm down. Don't worry yourself. I'll plan on something. You see? I'll just tell you that I got you. We got you. That is it. No, princess. I came up with an idea. Somebody yes. concluded. And that's how it's supposed to be. Babes. You are still like this, yet you have refused to go to the hospital. Allow me to call Mr. Ferdinand. You said no. What do you want me to do now? I'll be fine. I'll be okay. I just need some rest. I was I stressed myself last week too much and I'll be fine. This is exactly what you've been saying since last night this sickness started. Eh? If you don't stand up from there, let's go to the hospital now. I will call Mr. Ferdinand. Oh, please now. Jamaka, what is it? Please don't call him. Huh? Don't call him. I'll be fine. I will just go to the pharmacy and they will give me something to stop the cold. I'll be fine. I would have preferred hospital. But if you said you want to go to the pharmacy, fine. Stand up from there, let's go. I'll go alone. You need to rest. I'll go alone. There's one more. Did I tell you I'm tired? Huh? I said I'm going alone. Huh? Well, 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 are you treating me like a child? What's that? Please, I'll go alone. Fine. Okay, fine. Start going. Go. Be here now, Surprise party. Nothing. It just went like an ordinary day. And you still want us to believe that all is well. What are you talking about? Are you guys surprised? I mean, I told you guys about this and you guys tagged me bad belly. I hope I get an apology from the three of you. What is this? What do we call this? Is this some sort of ambush or what? I don't get it. You walk into my house and you're talking rubbish? And then you call yourselves my friends? Why are you saying we're talking rubbish? I mean, we're basically just looking out for you. But you are telling me rubbish. Yeah. Ijima, if we don't care about you, we'll not be here looking out for you. You know what? Ijima is right. I mean, what we are doing right now is called witchcraft. We're supposed to mind our business and know when not to cross the boundary. Yesterday was her birthday. Yes, she can still get a surprise package from Mr. Ferdinand. I mean, maybe he's busy. He's not busy anything. He's not busy. He's only busy sleeping with that low life princess. I can't believe he would ever do this to me after everything I did for him, after all the love I've shown him. I can't believe it. It's okay. It's okay. Please. Don't worry. You're the first woman before the princess. I'm very sure he's still going to come back to you. What are you guys talking about? Why can't you guys tell her the truth? Yes. Tell her the truth and stop deceiving her. If you want her to date Ferdinand, fine. But don't make it look like they're dating already. They are not. Yeah, what have I done to deserve this? Good 
afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. What do you want? Um, I please. I came to see Ginika. Mm, what for? Okay, she came to my shop earlier to come and get drugs. So I came to see how she's faring. Mm. Is that how you go about checking on people that came to your shop to buy things? No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is that she came... Hey, how come you know where she lives? Oh, she told me that when we talked. And so? She told you where she lives. Is that the reason you came here looking for her? You told it that me. You told it that me. Where is Ginika? I'm no answerable to you now. Are they tackle you? Ginika is not around. Go home. Come back next year. Shall I just tell her that I came around to see her? I will. I will do that, sir. Are you sure she's not? Spoiling all the promising young girls in this village. You felt that my own friend is the next. Mm. Okay. You have totally failed, though. You have failed. Because you discussed with her and you found out that she has a promising future. You become a visiting seminarian. Let me see you in this compound again. Fool. Who is that? Nobody. How can you say nobody? You stayed there for so long. Oh, it's um, this Jehovah Witness members. Should I go and let them in? No. They will have time for that. Hey. You don't have time for that. Well, you have time for that low life, that village pharmacy. Eh? Who does not know his class? I thought you said you were outside with Jehovah Witness people. He's as good as Jehovah Witness members. How can you even associate yourself with that low life? Haven't you heard the way they go about sleeping with those village small small girls because of the little change they have? Eh? Chalaka, you're my friend, just won't give you the right to meddle in my affairs. How much do you think that you can tell me who to associate with? What's the mean? Are you, are you okay? Huh? Do, do you have a problem? Are you okay? Is there anything wrong with you? Are you serious? Are you serious or are you joking, Chalaka? Chalaka, you have no right to prevent my visitors from coming to see me. What's wrong with you? I don't understand. It's my life. It's not your life. Please, 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 please don't try this again, I beg you. Don't try it again. So, just because I am looking out for you, when will you grow up and begin to aim high? Walk high and everything you think, you think high. When? You can trust me. Five billion. By the time I execute that contract, you know what I'll get. Oh, yes. Father, I need a job. Please, I'll call you back, okay? I didn't hear you right. You need what? A job. Whoa. This is the greatest news of the millennium. Do you know what I'll do? I will place a call to my managing director immediately. And they will create a space for you in my company. I don't want to work in your company. Why? I mean, what is wrong in your working in my company? I want to work for Mr. Ferdinand Ibeneme. Listen, young woman. Mr. Ferdinand Ibeneme is the senior special assistant to the president. And he works and lives in Abuja. So tell me, 
what kind of job do you think he can possibly secure for you? Babes. I, I am very sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I was just looking out for you. It's my life. It's my business. Just don't try it again, please. I am sorry. It's just that I don't I don't trust that guy. Eh? I don't trust him. I I don't want anyone to hurt you. I am grown. I'm grown enough to decide for myself. Just accept that you're wrong. And stop. Okay. But eh, if only you can open your eyes, eh? To see what I am fighting for. Mm. Eh? Mr. Ferdinand Ibeneme likes you so much. Just try and give him small green light. He can just switch to you. And your life will never remain the same. Who told you I want that kind of life? Uh, eh? I have told you. I don't want to marry a politician. I don't want to have anything to do with a politician. I don't want to do exposure. I just want a quiet life. A drama-free life. Please. Just... Just take Ferdinand off your mind. You see this nonsense you're entertaining in your head? He's not even thinking about it. He is, my darling. That is what I am telling you. He is. Eh? Have you not noticed the way he, he looks at you? The way he treats you? The way he, he admires you and all that? Eh? Eh? It only takes a man that is in love with a woman to do that. Hey, what do we call this madness? Why are you just staring at me like you've never seen me here before? Will you open the damn gate for me, now? Did you tell my boss that you're coming to see him? Because my boss did not tell me that anybody is coming to visit him. He knows I am coming. And if you want to find out, you might as well go inside and ask him. He's waiting for me already. Open the gates. Did my boss tell you that he's around? Your boss is around, and I am fully aware. Going to school is not the main thing. The main thing is having the sense. What? How dare you? How dare you talk to me? Are you mad? Do you know you just insulted me? You don't want to reason with me so that I'll make life easy for you. You'll be there for me, madam. And the crown will be given to another woman. What exactly do you mean by that? Well, it's one thing to tell somebody the truth. And it's another thing for a person to understand the truth. It is only an evil-minded person that will hear the truth and say that it's an insult. What gods? Like, what gods? Hey, can you open this gate right now? Open the damn gate! Listen, I am going to mind my business. It's the gate. And you, go home and mind your own business. I don't want to hear this pin, pin, pin here again. If I hear it, I will use the presidential skills. Or rather, I will go down to Native and seize your heart. You are mad. You stupid. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this butterfly. Okay. Oh, yeah. Everybody wants to go. Yeah. He's so special. The dream of every woman is never like other men. The question is, who is the close bride? Who is the chosen one? Yeah. So they are fighting, yeah. so they are pushing. Yeah. Who's gonna win the game? Can you get out? Chris! Oh, Father, as I was saying. Uh, no, 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 no. What was that for? Father, she met me discussing with you. Whatever trash she wanted to tell you could have waited. But no. Just because you gave them a free hand over here, she feels she can just barge in and start talking to the king. Next time, I'll slap her. 
Grace. That maid is an employee of this palace. Aside being an employee, she is one maid that I trust so much, especially with things I eat or drink. Why would you just hush her out like that? Huh? And uh, apart from that, as a princess, why would you even think of slapping a, 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 an employee of the palace? Why? Whenever I am talking with my father, no one must interfere. No one. Grace, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay? Why are you behaving like a baby? You're a princess for God's sake. But I am not cut out for these lectures, please. I'm relocating to Abuja. And if I may ask, relocating to Abuja to do what? It's in line with what I told you already. I'm going there to work. And I have told you that Mr. Ferdinand Ibeneme has no job for you in Abuja. Look, if you've decided to work, I will find a good position for you in my company. As a matter of fact, I can make you my managing director. At least that should keep you busy. Father, I don't want to be busy your way. I want to be busy my own way. And you know what? I think you should stop. After all, you have refused to help me. So please, stop. I should stop, you say? No, 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 I should stop, you say? So I am done with what you asked me to do. I can create the hard copies to you if you need them, sir. So why would I want to come to Abuja? Things I can't do here and send to you, sir. Okay, sir. I'll get ready. Are you sure Chalaka is not right? I'm not ready for this. I can't believe he traveled without telling me. What do I do to win him over? Ferdinand. I can't afford not to marry you. Because there is no other man I see apart from you. I really need to do something. But the question is, what must I do? What I don't understand is why he wants me to come to Abuja. Not like the job I do for him requires my presence anyway. I can do it from anywhere I am. I know. And I will say it. Because I'm not one of those pretenders who, who claim they don't know what they can even teach. Are we still talking about why he's asking me to come to Abuja? Are we still in that same topic? Of course. We are still on the same topic here. He is inviting me to Abuja to propose to you in the presence of his laws, the president. Nothing can be more sexier than that. Okay, you're very stupid. Though. You're actually very stupid. Because how is it possible that someone that has never said anything to me in this life proposed to me? How? As far as I'm concerned, Fenneth does not have anything for me. He just likes my work and that's why he's being nice. Get that one into your head. You're clear for your eyes. When you enter Abuja, you're clear. Don't worry. You know I can decide to not go to Abuja again if you keep saying this rubbish that you say, right? I can decide. I can decide. Go back your nose. Hey, shut up. Oh, <laughs> nonsense. Go no, back your nose. I go to Abuja. Yeah.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Why are you frowning? Are you okay? I'm not okay. I mean, why will I be fine? When it's quite obvious that I am the only one in this relationship. And my brother has blatantly refused to help me. When you're the one forcing yourself on him, what do you expect? So this is what you have to say to me. You don't even care about how I feel. You still haven't said what exactly is the problem. You said you're not okay. I'm still waiting. Ferdinand has really humiliated me. He had the guts to go back to Abuja without even letting me know. I spoke with him over the phone and I told him I was going to come and see him. Yet he didn't even tell me he was traveling. It was his, his lousy gate man that told me. I do not know why you have decided to sit back and watch that man humiliate and insult me like this. But have you considered at all if this could be an emergency? There is no emergency in anything. There's no emergency. He doesn't have any single regard for you. That's why he's treating your sister like this. On the contrary, I think it is my sister who wants to be treated like a trash. That is what I think. Because you're practically forcing yourself on him. Yes. Since this is what you have to say, do not blame me if I do anything stupid. Chief Silas Ilo. Chief Silas Ilo, the identity of Osili is already above stupidity and all their aftermaths. So if you do anything stupid, that stupidity will stick to you, your body, and your reputation. It will have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with me. Yes. Ferdinand is not in love with her. What happened? How did it go? What did your brother say? I will just forget the fact that I have a brother. I'll do this my way. My way. What are you going to do? I am going to show Mr. Ferdinand Ibenene the kind of woman that I am. I am not a woman to be toyed with. No, I'm not. He better don't do something stupid. Yes, because with the things that I gathered, Ferdinand has the ear of Mr. President. And you won't go free if you do something stupid. Brenda, why are you like this? <laughs> I mean, if you don't have something better to say, why don't you just shh, shut up? Please ignore Brenda. She is here to tell us what her problem is. I don't even know what your problem is. The Ferdinand that we know is special to the Mr. President. And none of you will go free if you do anything to him. Yes. Please, please. At this point, with, with due respect, I wish, I wish to be left alone. Please. In all honesty, please. I don't understand. What don't you understand? I mean, she's very clear. She said we should get out. I mean, we have been used and dumped. Now she is throwing us out. Let's just go back to our houses with our dignity intact. What are you guys still waiting for? You don't want to leave. Wait. Are you sending us out of your house again? I never did. I didn't send you out of my house. I just said- No! You politely saying that we should get out. I mean, you guys want her to call her security men to come and like drag us by our wig before you leave? Please, I can't deal with this. know that I never asked you to leave. You guys chose to. You're not serious. There's no way I will allow that. For me? <laughs> you know, so many people said the same thing, but they did. They lost that. Do I look like so many people? Huh. I'm Ginnika. Hello? Oh, you queen Ginnika. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really miss you. 
He just traveled to Abuja and left me in this village. To this Mbeke church or church Mbeke guest. But you know when duty calls, people get got no choice. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Goodness. Chavaka. What now? I thought I was the only one in the house. <laughs> So I didn't touch you. But you spread this thing yesterday. Uh, I know. But I needed to kill this this big uncle. <laughs> Did you spread you? Uh-huh. Which mosquito? But there's no mosquito here again. I need to kill it. Because this big mosquito will suck your blood. Lots of it. Actually, okay, not real. Seriously. <laughs> you will <kill> <laughs> Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you good? Yes. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. Brenda, please now. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to throw you out of my house. I was just angry. You know how my anger is. I'm really, really sorry. Please. How can you possibly say I do not value you? You know I respect you more than Chacha and Azongini. Those ones are something else. But you always say it exactly the way it is. You tell me the truth. I appreciate that. Please. Hmm? Mikono, I'm sorry. Um, my dear friend, if you don't mind, please, I would want you to come over to the house. I have something very important to discuss with you. Please. Thank you so much, my dear. I'll be expecting you. Thank you. This is yet another suitor that you've turned down. Grace, what is wrong with you? But nothing is wrong with me. I already told you what I want. It's either you help me, or I'll keep helping myself. So you want me to lie? No, you want me to soil my royalty because of your selfish desire? Father, it's not like you are going to tell a lie. All you need to do is invite him over to the palace, and then talk with him. I mean, look for any topic, any topic at all, and discuss with him. And then after that, excuse yourself, and I'll go back there and keep him company. That's all. Just that. Just that. Can't you see it's not a big deal? Now, read my lips. For all I care, you can remain single if that is what you want. As for what you want me to do, I will not do it. Fine. (laughs) I'll keep disgracing myself. I'll go to his house and disgrace myself. And you know the good thing? All my disgraceful acts will definitely come back to your doorstep. I disgrace myself. Problem. Two contestants at the same time. of titans. This is double wahala. Uh, after honey, if you are tired, use your leg and enter here. If you are not ready to use your leg and enter here, go back home. Special, the dream of every woman is never like other men. Is my man around? He's heading at in. Hey, what talk to me? You reduce your balloons because this is not a typewriter, this is a high type food man with respect. If you want to talk, you step forward, you lay your complaint, I will give you an answer that will defeat your question. And what is the meaning of that madness? I just asked a question. 
Is my man around? He's expecting me. And what's that? Are you, are you talking to me? If you are not ready to obey the simple rule of the game, I will leave you two here and go inside. My AC is wasting. Look, I hope you're not planning to keep me here along with this thing. Huh? Look at this fool. Oh. Who are you calling a thing? And it is about hey. to go down. Princess of Osili and Ijoma of Osili. The thing I am referring to is this shameless prostitute standing beside no, me. No, 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 no. You are the prostitute. You are the certified prostitute. Look at you. Talking to me. Calling me names. What are you doing here? Throwing yourself cheaply at a man who clearly does not want you. A man who has a girlfriend. You should be ashamed of your stupid self, princess. I don't even know why I'm exchanging words with you. I'm royalty. Royal what? It flows in the vein. Oh, it flows in the vein and you're here cheaply embarrassing yourself looking for a man who does not want you. You should be ashamed of myself. You're not my type. I shouldn't be talking to you. And who wants to talk to you? You're not royalty. And who wants to be this kind of royalty? If royalty is about this, I don't want to be this. So they are fighting me. So they are fighting me. Love it, it's making noise and my boss doesn't like noise. Will you shut up your mouth? What nonsense? Is your girl around? Do you want to put him into trouble? Are you okay? I said, is your ogre around? Are you daft? Go in there. Tell your ogre that the princess of Osili Kingdom is here to see him. <laughs> Dead princess. Go in there. Tell my husband to be. That is why he's here as instructed. You wish in your dreams. Da da da. da. Okay, Rubbish. Come back here. What? You go and do exactly what I ask. I, I say, come back here. Do you want to find yourself in trouble? Oh. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, I said, go and tell my mom what I said. Go on to put me in the trouble. Nobody is putting you in trouble. I am here with you. She can't do nothing. If you move an inch, I will make sure you pay for it. You know what? I won't allow the board of you to use me and do this. Excuse me. But sir, what does this have to do with the business at hand? Well, this has nothing to do with the project I know. I was just showing you, you know, you like what you see. But you know I know little about cars. I'm willing to teach you but so much about cars if you let me free of charge. But sir, this... What? Can't be work all the time. Come on. Huh? Are you saying that you can't stop by, come here, say hello, if we're not working on a project? It's not that, but I. For what? Sir. Huh? Sir, so, the princess and the gem, my dear, they want to see you. Let them know that I'm busy. I'll see them later. Sir? Hello, did you? Please, we have to come and address them. If not, they might burn this house down. Hey, Bube. Sir. Would you handle it or would you lose your job instead? Which? I'll, I'll try, sir. But, sir, I'll try. Hey. It's in a meeting with government officials. I said that both of you should go and come back later. Excuse me. <laughs> Shameless thing. He's so special, the dream of every woman is never like other men. Everybody wants the groom. The question is, who is the groom's bride? Who is the chosen one? So they are fighting me, so they are pushing. Who's gonna win the game? Everybody says, I'm gonna 
Dream of love, you don't need to struggle. Look for love, but love will find you. It doesn't matter how often you come around. It doesn't matter if you have everything in the world. So stop fighting. Love is not the battle match. It only comes without struggle. It's so special, okay, the dream of you. every woman. Yeah. Everyone is fighting. Yeah. So, who's the girl's bride? Who is the chosen one? To be honest with you, there's no way I'll ever know that Ferdinand likes me the way you think. Because I just feel the man likes me because of the way I do my job. I'm not a prophetess. So, there's no way I will know that Ferdinand likes me. So this thing that happened today is not, is not a clear indication that that man likes you. Yeah. For goodness sake, he left those high-class babes with good shit just to be with you. Eh? I mean, he could just be using it to pass our time. I might just be the available person he wants to use to catch crews. You know, this man. You better grab this opportunity before it passes you by. Eh? From what I am seeing, this man might become the president of this country someday. And you, the first lady. <laughs> See, I will not allow you to spoil show for me. I won't. Chamaka, why not claim it? Claim it instead now. Who dash monkey banana? Me. Hey, let me just tell you. I am only praying to be promoted from cleaner to the best friend to the first lady. <laughs> you see? You see why I said you are, ah, Chamaka. Your village people are following you. Believe me. Yes. Because if Ferdinand is single, I mean, if he's not seen those girls, then why can't you just use the same power you're using for me to get him? Why? You are the one befitting for this position, not me. Yes. You are the one he likes, not me. So, go for it and stop getting me angry. But I told you, the village people will follow you forever. You be a fool. A big fool. If you like, heal. If you like, don't heal. I am not interested. Of us. She will soon be out. I see. Well, I give her something for all of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You have been doing well. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I like your work. Huh? Thank you, sir. That's fine. You can go. Thank you, sir. All right. Aha, uh -huh. here she is. Finally, you're here. I thought you have gone out. I know, I have not. I'm actually taking the day off to rest. Yesterday was quite um, busy for me. But I say you're here because you have been running away from me. Oh yes, something has been keeping you away. Whatever it is, I am sure that um, <laughs> it is something of interest. Ah. Mm. Uh? Oh my goodness. Oh my <laughs> I know where your mind is going to, but I'm pretend I don't know. Where, where do you think my mind is going? Like, uh, what, what? Get your mind out of the gutter now. You're, because you're mischievous. You know what you've been up to. You've been doing something. You understand what I'm saying? Right, sit down, sit down, sit down. I want to hear it. Where have you been? What has been going on with you? Don't uh, laugh at me when I tell you. Hey, I went on a date. You did? But I regretted it. Why? Can you imagine? This guy has been wanting to go on a date with me for the past few months. Okay. So what happened? Then I decided to pity him and I went. Only for him to be a big disappointment and a waste of transport. Oh, come on. Now take it easy. Now what does this young man do? <laughs> like you would qualify him like that. Come on. Oh. Okay, what happened? Let, let me hear. What's, 
What happened? This guy bragged from the minute I arrived until I left. He could not even allow me to eat my food in peace, just pouring saliva in my food. <laughs> the worst part of it is that. I'm listening. <laughs> Chiamaka. Chiamaka has suffered in this life. Okay, what happened? When it was time mm -hmm. to pay, mm -hmm. he started searching his pockets. What? He started searching his pockets. <laughs> In my mind, I was like, ah, maybe he forgot his wallet in the car mm -hmm. because he bragged about owning a car. Ah, really? Okay. Then he said, babe, ah, I cannot find my wallet. Oh. Then I was like, ah, maybe you left it in the car. Go and get it. He said, oh, yes, you are right. Maybe I left it in the car. Okay. Then I said, we did go and get it now. Yes. We are keeping the waiter waiting. Mm -hmm. Then and then, I got the biggest shock of my life. Okay, what happened? What? Hmm. Hmm. That fool told me that his car was at the mechanic. That oh. me, Chiamaka, hmm. should pay the bill twenty six thousand naira. That is a ticking change for him. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this right. First and foremost, twenty six thousand. What were you guys? What? What were you people eating? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, he. What? Well, hold on. What? So why did he now step out if? He did not bring a car, and then I agreed with you that his wallet could have been. I'm lost because he already bragged about owning a car. <laughs> Chiamaka has suffered in this life. Where do you find this kind of <laughs> man? <laughs> oh. Can you imagine? He ordered bellies, he ordered chicken, he ordered water. Eh? All of them, he wants to please Chiamaka. Please. Bust out this laugh before I choke you. Release it, please. <laughs> release the laugh, Biko. It's what we Well, let's say he was hoping that you'd take care of it. <laughs> Me? Me that's looking for money. <laughs> the beautiful one, how are you? Huh? Please don't even patronize me. Not after humiliating me at your place yesterday. Oh. I, I don't get it. What did I do? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Look, I was having an important meeting, okay? Besides, your visitation to my place yesterday wasn't scheduled. I know it wasn't. But at least you would have accorded me a little respect by coming out to tell me yourself that you were busy. But no, you didn't. And you still haven't called me up until now. Is it fair? It's not. That's because I figured that I'll be here today to speak with your brother. That way we'll get a chance to, you know, talk one on one. The excuse isn't enough. It's not. For crying out loud, I came to your place. You did not call me. You didn't even care. I call you these days, you don't even take my calls. In fact, if I decide not to call you, we will become history. It's busy times for me. I need you to understand, okay? But I'll work something out so I can make it up to you. But I also need you to understand that I'm doing everything possible for you to know how I feel. I mean, why are you doing this to me? Is it because you know I love you? That's, that's not the point. Like I said, I need you to understand that these are busy times for me. And I might not be as available as you hope for me to be. Please understand. Listen to me. I was the one the governor wanted to make as the chairman of this committee. I declined because of reasons best known to me. So if that man is now using that office to which haunt my people, then I have to call his excellency and cancel his appointment. Uh, uh, one minute. One minute, excuse me. I, I'll talk to you later. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Ferdinand. The great son of uh, even the mayor of Nusili. <laughs> sir. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Uh, as everything, sir. How else? I think uh, living in the village is one of the best decisions that I have ever taken in my life. So you're saying that we should start working towards retirement? Fernand, you're doing that already. With the way you are visiting, I mean, your good works all over the community, the massive love the youths and everyone is having on you. I mean, 
deciding to retire home at your, your, your retirement, I think it's a good choice over making. <laughs> I wish I would have a strong connection with someone the way you two do. I thought you were stepping out already. Yes, I was until I realized that uh, Mr. Ferdinand is here. So I decided not to in case he needs me for anything. Well, that is fine. But the truth is that Ferdinand and I are having something very important to discuss. If it needs you, I know that he's definitely going to call your attention. Are you indirectly sending me away? Oh, no, not at all. Um, I definitely would um, let you know once, once I'm done with Chief. <laughs> It's all right. I'll be here. I'm doing very well, Princess. How are you? Ah, you'd have to pardon me, please. I, I was in a meeting. I, I couldn't step out. But I'm going to make it up to you, okay? No, there'll be no stories uh, this time. Uh, you know what? How about you come to my place tomorrow? Tomorrow then. I'll be home all, all day. But I'll prefer that you come from what, 3 p.m. would be perfect. Right. See you tomorrow. Why are you doing this to me? I give you love, care. I do virtually everything just to make you happy. What have I ever done to you? What? What is all this? Is it because she's a princess? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your affair with the princess of this land. Why are you doing this to me? I mean, why are you hurting me like this? You are even begging her to come visit you. This is extremely sensitive. Oh no, come on, come on. Ijama, that was unnecessary. You don't have to employ such strong language. Why? I just had a conversation with her because of what happened yesterday. She also came to the house to see me. She couldn't access me. So I told her to stop by my place so we can just talk about that. This is me being civil. You're hurting me. You're really hurting me. You're breaking my heart. This is not fair. Have you ever been civil towards me? Have you? Honestly, I'm, I'm really, really confused. Where is this coming from? From the deepest part of my soul. It's coming from there. That I taught him how to swim. <laughs> look at, look at, all these people we used to. You see one grand old Titanic fish. Now, nah. keep watching, keep watching. I wonder what you're still doing here. You know it yourself that boss would be angry when he comes now. You're not there to open the gate for him. Look at, look at, look at that shark. Look at that shark. If you eat this fish, you will not only be fat, but you will be smarter. <laughs> I don't worry about our guy. I can always tell her anything. Hey, look at it. This girl, this, that girl, she will fall now. She's my neighbor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it. Eh, Ebube. Without a company, I'm about. And I'm Ebube, and I'm Ebube. Who gave? Go ahead, Sorry. Who gave you that name? Why are you answering Ebube? And you can't even understand the ordinary ingredients that is in the midst of discussion. Is that an insult? No, it's not an insult. It's just that uh, I am bothered about this organ. How do you mean? See all those useless girls that have been fighting over organ. Maybe they, 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 they will go out one day and then during their crossfire, organ might be killed. 
Ebube, I'm thinking that we two should boldly walk to Oga and tell him to, to, to marry one of them. He should settle down this month so that this rubbish that is happening will stop. Okay. When he returns, come and open the discussion with him. Ebube, how, how, can you, how can you believe that I'm in a better position to do that? Ebube, you are the one that prepares his food. You prepare his meals and sometimes you'll be watching him as he eats. I want you to take advantage of that as he's taking the meal down his stomach. You take the discussion down his ear. You know what, Mr. Gotoliba? Just go back to the gates and allow the boss live his life and make decisions on him on his marriage when, when he feels like. It will be tell me, are you not bothered? I'm bothered about you. Because if you discuss this with boss, he will fire you. Every time you will not be on the same frequency. How can I be seeing something that you are not seeing? <laughs> See, that's Morgan. I taught her how to, how to jump. You see this one that is swimming? I taught him how to swim. <laughs> Look at him. Hey! No, I'm not becoming for irritating now. Go to the gate. Sometimes you leave gates, you come inside, you flex, you enjoy. <laughs> and who are you flexing with? With you, of course. Please. Please sit down. Honestly, thank you so much for honoring my invitation, my dear friend. Your presence is really appreciated here. And um, I really needed an intelligent mind around me. You're most welcome. So what do you want this time around? My dear, it's about Ferdinand. I don't know exactly what to do. I've tried everything. But it's as if I'm losing the battle. He doesn't... He doesn't care about me anymore. I call him, he doesn't take my calls. And even if he does, he will always find a way to tell me that he's very busy, as if I'm disturbing him. I don't know what else to do. The problem is, she won't like the truth if I spill it. You think I don't know the truth? Listen, my dear. If I tell you that I don't know the truth of everything happening around me, then I'm a very big liar. I know virtually everything. It's just that it's always very difficult to admit it. Because the truth is always bitter and it hurts. And don't you think it's only the truth that can set you free? Yes. When you admit the truth, it will help you to achieve a positive result. If you keep living a lie, that won't help. Instead, it will even hurt you the more. I know. I know it makes things worse. And that is why I have sent for you. Because I have admitted the truth, my dear. Please tell me. What do I do? What's the way forward? Fine. I will explain things to you in details. Make sure you do as I say. Okay. So tell me, how did it go? What did he say? Any hope? Well, he invited me over to his house and said he will be around all day. You know what that means? Mm. It means both of you will have so much time to do whatever you want to do. <laughs> so much time to spend together and have Fun. I don't understand something here. He told you he would be in his house all through the day. Did he in any way tell you that you are going to spend the whole day with him? What is it that you don't understand? If someone tells you that he will be in his house all through the day, what does it mean if it's not for her to come so that they can be together? Dear goodness, I was not talking to you. So you better be careful the way you talk to me. Babes. He said I should come around by 3 p.m. Maybe he thought I would have all the time to myself, but guess what? I am spending the entire day with him. You know what that means? I know. When I spend the time with him, I know. there is no way that something will not happen. Hi. Bolo has occurred in this world. <laughs> in my opinion, you better keep to the appointments. 
Well, your opinion is not needed. I mean, what is your problem? You always feel as if you're wiser than everyone, whereas you're not. <laughs> Be careful the way you talk to me, Feshuku. I am just warning you. Be careful. As if you would do anything. Babes, look, enough, please. You girls don't need to quarrel over this, all right? I'm, a, I'm an adult. I can make decisions for myself. Case closed. Exactly. Okay, I have to go now. Eh? I just want to make sure you go home safely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I had a really nice time hanging out with you. <laughs> You're so fun to be with. I did. I don't feel like going, but you don't have to get back to show. And I had so much fun with you too. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, you're more fun than I thought. <laughs> you want me like this, so... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, now, I go, I go turn on you. My phone off now, mm -hmm. but once I get back to the shop, I will charge it. I will go here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, careful. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't feel like... <laughs> Okay, be careful. What exactly is wrong with you? What has come over you? I don't understand. You don't understand? What are you doing with that village pharmacist? Is it that you don't like good things? Babes, I mean, they sweat for you. What exactly? Chawaka, please, when you want to talk, let me know. <clears throat> Babes, you know I love you so much. That is why I am telling you this. That guy is not good for you. You already have someone that loves you so much. He is not just wealthy and influential. He is a good man. Why can't you say no to that distraction? And face the man God has sent to you. If I understand you correctly, you're saying that I should leave a locker. That is a distraction and that there's a better man for me out there. Exactly. Mr. Ferdinand Ibeneme is a better man for you. Do you want to live the rest of your life like this? Huh? Chemaka, have I ever told you that Mr. Ferdinand has ever asked me out? Or complimented my beauty? Or told me that he wanted anything? Are you making sense at all? Babes, I know he has not asked you out. But from the way he treats you, Aren't you thinking? That guy loves you. He loves you so much. So because someone is treating me right, I should buy a ring and put it on my finger and say, yes, I am married to someone. Come on. Babes, that's not what I said. You know what I, I mean? It's okay. It's okay. It's enough. You're really making out to just... Babes, get that thing cold. Better think. Ah. What's the meaning of this? Must you be annoying all the time? You've kept me here for too long. Why not call him and confirm if he actually asked me to come? Madam, you're distracting me. Allow me to confirm if you have an appointment with my boss today. Hold on. You're the one keeping yourself. I must make sure you pay for this. If you don't pay for this, then I'm not the princess of this land. Madam, I've told you that you are distracting me. The earlier you keep quiet, the better for you. Hold on, let me confirm if you're there. Hold on. You are discouraging me from get 
getting the accurate concentration of confirming names and time. Hold on. Princess, uh, Princess Grace of Osili, your name is here. But your appointment is scheduled from 3 p.m. Why are you here? This is becoming very irritating and disgusting. What kind of rubbish question is this? Ma'am, your appointment time is 3 p.m. And 3 p.m. is your appointment time. You are not supposed to be here anytime before 3 p.m. So what I advise you to do is to go home and return once it's 3 p.m. I should go home and... Are you stupid? Is it because I'm keeping quiet for you? Listen, I'm only trying to be very civil. Don't piss me off! Why are you trying to make a fool of me? Hold on, madam, you are not being civil. Listen, your appointment time is 3 p.m. And you are here before the time. This is 12 noon. Well, from 12 noon to 3 p.m. is not far. If we can get into discussion, interaction, heart-to-heart -heart interaction, before you know it, 3 p.m. appears. You will go in. If you are in, I am ready. My princess, <laughs> let me start with uh, how old are you, my princess? You're not serious. Get out. Hey, hey, not again. Not again, my princess. It's like you have the monopoly of invading into people's privacy. Please, I will you, take it. Please get out. Go. Hey, oh, of invading into people's privacy. Oh, hey, hey. Hey. Princess. Hey. A tattooed man. Hey. I will not stand up from here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I, I wasn't expecting to see you now. Is that why you asked your git man to lock me out? Okay. Uh, you know what? You, you need to calm down. I can see that you're a bit... Uh, what is it? What happened? I don't know why you can't tame that useless git man. An ordinary git man has such power in your home. Okay, what exactly did he do? He refused me coming in. That I should go back home and come back by 3 p.m. <laughs> Sorry. Is that why you're angry? Hold on. <laughs> Is this funny to you? Um, you see nothing wrong with him? I, I'm sorry. Honestly, I'm, I, I'm sorry. He, look, he was just doing his job, okay? Um, the manner in which he, he got the job done might not have been right, but please, I'm apologizing to you now, please, I'm sorry. Okay? Calm down. At least you're here now, with me. Huh? I'm sorry. So, um, okay, you, you said you were going to tell me something phone so let's let's get to it it's my father he has been on my neck he wants me to get a job okay he said i will be more responsible if i have something doing okay i think that the king is right and that's why i'm here look Ferdinand. i I want to work for someone I'm comfortable with. That's the more reason why I have not worked for anyone. Well, I honestly do not think that you getting a very good job would be a problem. The king, your father, is highly connected. Um, he also has a lot of, you know, work opportunities. So all you have to do is just say the word to him and it's done. I can't work for my father. I don't want to work for the king. I want to work outside my family wealth. I want to be able to prove to my father that I can bring wealth into the family. Hmm. That, that's, that's, that's also very good. But you would agree with me that it now behoves on you to um, overcome your phobia of working for other people. You have to get out there. You have to explore opportunities that are available to you. You know, cross a few hurdles. <laughs> um, deal with people, you know. If you have to bring something back home, like you've put it, then you have to put in the work as well. So, so that's my take. 
I already have that person I would love to work for. That person I am comfortable with. I will not stand up. How can a woman for a whole Okotoriba? Okotoriba! Without good. I will not stand up. There must be a he goat. This girl, come out and bring the he goat. It will increase if you waste more time. He goat. You must provide it. I will not stand up from here. A woman for that matter. Hey! Hey! Impressive. I, <laughs> I think that, um, you know, if this person is all that you have, you know, made him or her out to be, it would be great you just, you know, I'd advise that you, you know, you work with this person. Who is this person, by the way? That person is you. I like you a lot. I am comfortable with you. I would love to work for you, travel with you. I would like to be by your side. Good afternoon, sir. What is the meaning of this? She pushed me. Just because I was working with your instruction on the list of the people that are allowed to visit you today. And I, I was looking at the list. I searched. I started looking at the list. I did not see her name at first. And I searched again. And now saw her name. And beside her name, I, I, I was seeing 3 p.m. And I was trying to explain to her that the 3 p.m. was her appointed time. Instead of her to listen to me, the next thing she, she did, she pushed me down. She pushed Okotoriwa down. Sir, Okotoriwa is a titled man. With all due respect, sir, I am not going to stand up from here. Sir, another important notice is that the presidential gate is locked. Nobody is coming in, nobody is leaving. Because as a titled man, I am not allowed to touch that gate without the cap on my head. And I cannot wear that cap until a he goat a qualified hero, he got with the respect is presented to that car. With all the respect, sir, I will remain here until the goat arrives. It is only the goat that the gate is allowed to be open for, sir. If you will listen to me, settle down with another woman and forget the princess. What? Yes. Why will you say a thing like that? You know I love the princess and I'm ready to wait until she finally agrees to become my wife. The princess is after someone else and she can do anything just to be with the person. If I remember correctly, this person you are talking about, for some reasons best known to him, he does, he's not interested in making the princess his wife. And ever since you arrived here, you have been calling her. But she won't think. Don't you think it's possible she's with that person? It is possible the princess is with this person. But I love her so much and I'm willing to wait until she returns. Listen, I know the princess inside out. She's a heartless woman who is just concerned about herself. And you are a good man for what I have seen. I don't think you need a demon as wife. You know, from the way you talk, I can't help but think that you have personal issues with the princess, which you need to sort out. Because the things you say about her, they are not good to the ears. But well, that is the truth. That girl is a heartless human being. Hello, Mr. Great. She will make your life very miserable. Believe me. If you leave this place without giving me money for the Hugo, I will make sure I spoil everything, destroy and crumple everything. I will make sure that my boss will hate you. I will make sure that you will be never allowed. Nobody will allow you to, to come into this place with this miserable life again. No, my uncle will hate you with passion. I will assault you. I will sit on it. 
What did you just say? See, my ogre. My ogre respects me. He seeks advice from me. You see this house? My ogre respects me past every other person. My ogre respects me because he knows that I am a man that is rooted in culture. I get power. For this house, I get power. My power too much. You should be pampering me and oiling my hand that I'm using to open that gate for you. You are here talking rubbish. So you think you can succeed without me, Abi? Hey, you can succeed without me. Let's watch and see. Let's see how it will work. You see, he got. How, how do you expect me to pamper you when you're always terrorizing me in my man's house? I don't know what you mean by terrorizing you in your man's house. See, me, I am a security man and my job I do. You are the princess in the palace. And the last time I checked, this is not an extension of the palace. If not for the respect I have for your father and the crown on his head, I would have given you a hot slap. Listen up, you have to stop disrespecting my personality. You need to stop. What he got? He got or I will crumple everything. How much is the goat? 50,000 naira. 50 what? 1,000 naira. Why are you talking about a very baby he goat? We're talking about a he goat with a respect. A he goat, me, baraba. He goat in Kenesis. If you provide it, your marriage is secured. If not, forget about the marriage. You are talking about a 50,000 naira. See, do you know how many girls in high class in Crescendo? Many of them, they are ready to pay me, buy car for me, just for me to open this gate and allow them to say hi to my boss. If you don't bring it, he goes to bring that car on my head. Forget about the, the, the omission. Okay, I'll, I'll give you 30,000 naira, but you have to follow me to my car. A tattooed man can know where that car That you fall on the ground to follow you to your car. With that, I cannot do it. Provide the he goat, I'll put my car on my head, then I'll follow you to the car. Fine, that means you're not ready for the money if you're not following me to my car. Uh, my princess, don't think I'm following you to the car because of any reason. I'm following you to the car because of the money of the Higgot. But don't expect me to wear this cap on my head without the money. Listen up. I don't want you to ever open gate for that lousy sister of Chief Ilo. All right? I don't want her to ever set her eyes on my man again. Uh, my princess, last time I checked, the topic we are dwelling on is on that exalted cap. You need to bring the he goat. When you give me the money for the he goat, if you want me to do any other thing for you, we renegotiate. My princess. You <laughs> this. Girika, listen to me. You are too decent to end up with a character like a maker. Your so called decent man, dated one Ungozi, got her pregnant and abandoned her. Gineka, it is not a lie. Before they said Ngozi, he deflowered another, got her pregnant, and abandoned her too. Gineka, I am not standing on your way. Just make sure you do your investigation. That's all. Emeka is not good for you. This is very funny. Are you trying to tell me that you are into this mess because you do not want to offend both the king and Chifilo? Well, if you put it that way, I would say yes. Sad. So many men are praying to be in your shoe. Two hot women on a platter. <laughs> well, be yeah, that as it may, the truth is that uh, it's not every meal prepared and set in front of you that you're meant to eat. No matter how good it looks, because it could actually burn your tongue beyond repair. Don't tell me you're afraid of the king and the fellow. Ah, that, that's not the word to use. The word here is not fear, the word is respect. Uh, Chifilo is my godfather. Took me with him when I was pretty young, was nobody, and here I am today. I cannot um, separate my success and growth from his contributions, uh, my life. And of course, you know the king is like a father to me. He's, he's ever so supportive of all that I, that I do. So you find that I cannot um, play with those men like that. 
have to show respect. I see. It is very difficult. Especially when the two women are deeply into you. <laughs> Whew. Speaking of women, where is Geneka? That I asked you to come with her when coming. Yeah, um, she says she's working on something for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's always working on something. <laughs> <laughs> she was here with us now, she'll be resting, but no. Geneka. <laughs> 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 We start. Good day, sir. Sir. Good day, and what are you looking for in this vicinity? Sir, my princess sent me. She asked me to give you this. Thank you. Are you telling me that the princess did not ask you to give me the real thing? Excuse me? Oh, sorry for... Sorry for not uh, introducing myself to you. I am the chief executive manager of this house. I work hand in hand with Mr. Ferdinand just to make sure that everything is in order. I hate anarchy. Just want to make sure that everything is in order. That is why I am here. Forget that I, I am at the gate. I love the gate because sometimes it will make me feel how the poor feels to indicate man. So I have a lot to offer. Okay, so I have to be on my way now. Uh, what about the waiting? The... Have a nice How can you allow me to behold this beautiful maiden without allowing me to touch her? Even if it's. Come on. Princess, this one, this one, the man enter. I My princess, my joy, the most beautiful woman of this land. Uh, don't worry, very soon you'll become the madam of this house. <laughs> I can see you have received the package I sent to you. Yes, my princess, you did well, but it's still remaining. What's remaining? Uh, the, the package that delivered the package, is too, that package is too sharp. That package is even better than the package that she delivered. Hey, my, my, my princess, I, uh, I thought you would have tell the package to allow me to enjoy the package that brought the package with the package. Are you out of your mind? If you want a woman, why not go and get one for yourself? You want me to look for a woman for you? Don't be ridiculous. My princess, if you run this one for me, if you just allow that special package to, 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 to enter me and me enter inside the package so that all of us will become one package. So that when you do it for me, you and your girl will be, <laughs> you and your girl will be doing I, I, I do. Me and that special package will be doing our own I do in our own special way of package. Hold on, is this why you called me? Uh, no, my princess. <laughs> no, I'm. Jo I just called to tell you congratulations ahead, and to tell you to get ready because your wedding with my ogre is signed and sealed. Get off my phone, naughty boy. I don't want it on a high key. I want it on a low key, on a low. I don't wanna live a noisy lifestyle. I don't wanna be the topic of the news. Gonna say I'm crazy. Everybody knows what they want. I just wanna keep it low. This is just the life I want. I don't want a high life, high life, wanna keep it cool. I don't want.
The executive general manager to Mr. Fedmund, the only executive with class. How are you today? Uh, stop, 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 stop uh, uh, you praising me. Why are you praising me? Am I God that eat praises? Stop this or empty, empty, empty praise. No, no, no. no. My praises aren't empty. I know exactly what you want. You can actually have this. And if you want more from where this is coming from, you know exactly what to do. Just give me reasons for me to do more. And I shall do that with immediate effect. Hey! Hey! Why is it not you again? Who don't know you for this town? Never come this town. Not you. After you, I steal you. You are, ah, no, Ijama. You are the only Ijama. The only sister of Chief Silas, you know. The only Gigi of a silly. That's me. You are the lady. The Ijama with the class. The highest woman with the highest class in the whole universe. You know, hey, yeah, yeah. money speaks. You will, yeah. I know, I've got it. <laughs> See, Ijama with the class. Let me tell you the truth. Somebody has been coming here trying to take your money away from you. What? But me, you can use all the offer with this, <laughs> from what I'm saying now. I will use all the offer in this work to abort that mission. You don't say. Wait, who is that? You know her. That useless and worthless princess, Grace of Fossili. She has been throwing her empty and cheap self to my boss. It's a lie. But me that is here. Eh? From evidence that is in my hand. That mission has been deleted and aborted and abolished. <laughs> I trust you. Hey! Come. She can never. She can never. What do you want? Do you want me to call the presidency? Should I bring my boss out for you? My boss will answer you, ma. Hey! My future queen. The only executive with class. Hey! Mm, even number one. After you, not steal you. The drama that has door. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have an encounter with that gate man again. Why? He was lusting after me in a way that suspects that he would rape someone if given the chance. Okay, I I quite understand what you're saying, but don't worry. I assure you, nothing of such will happen. Thank you, my princess. It's okay. Get back to work. Thank you. Should I get anything for you? No, no, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Don't you trust me again? The whole thing is going as planned. It's not even as difficult as I thought. Fine. Go to the hair. Just continue, okay? If you encounter any problem, just call me. No, 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 there won't be a problem. Don't worry. Because my plan is playing out well, okay? So, um, I'll just, you know, feed you back if there's anything at all. Thank you so much, my dear friend. Because very soon, Mr. Ferdinand Ibeneme will be mine and mine alone. Who is that? You 
beautiful. And don't tell me that you're going to walk into that place without oiling the hand at the open gate for you. Please, don't start. I'm not in the mood for your jokes. I'm not joking, no. I am very serious. I am not telling you to, 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 to do one big thing. I have been opening this gate for you. You have never for one day oh, put your hand inside your purse and, and bless me. I am just asking you for the very first time and you are complaining. Put your hand inside your purse and make a withdrawal. When did this one start? Eh? You work for a very decent man. Please, don't start that your bribery nonsense here. He will just sack you. And who is talking about bribery? How bribery and corruption take enter this one? I am not telling you to bribe me or to corrupt me. What I'm telling you is that you should just make an offering to a titled man that has been opening the gate for you for, for so long. Do it. And, and you are too beautiful. Don't make me believe that you are you are stingy. You are among the stingy people association of this country. Don't make me to count you among them. Look, Mr. Man, I don't care if you like me or not. Hmm? I'm here to do my job. You see this your nonsense? Avoid it, oh. Avoid it so you can just avoid me in peace. See, see, see. Don't make stingy people. They will always twist innocent topic to become corrupted. They will always twist ordinary good money to evil. Hey! Don't tell me! What do you want? Hello. Um, I came to see Gidika. Can I come in? Come in where? Does this place look like a relaxation center to you? So, why would I allow you to come in? What do you want, Biko? Gidika asked me to come here and see her. And if I arrive before her, I should wait for her. Did you hear me? Hey, Oga. How else will I tell you that? She does not want you. See, my friend has a very big, rich boyfriend that is planning to marry her. So please, my darling, leave her alone. It's not by force. It is not. I don't know what it is you have with me, but don't don't say that. Yeah, don't say that. I don't I don't know why you hate me so much. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, if anyone should tell me to sit or job or about boyfriend, it should be Ginika. I'm tired. Can I just come inside? Eh? Why, why do you hate me so much? Mm. Eh? I don't hate you. Did I say I hate you? I don't hate you. All I want you to do for me is leave my friend alone and stop spoiling things for me. I, I mean, for us. For us. Can I come in now and, and wait for her? No serious. Please get out. You come here, I'll smash you. What? Come on. And I be the teacher go drink water, safe. I don't, I don't tire. Girls, I need to pay EJ my visit and I want you girls to accompany me. Hmm, good one. Are you ready now? So we can go. Anything for my princess. I'm at your back and call. What kind of visit do you want to pay to EJ now and why? What kind of a stupid question is that? How can you be asking such questions? Don't stress yourself. I'll give her the answer. Well, I want to pay her a visit because I want her to stop saying Ferdinand. I don't think that is necessary. I mean, you can't belittle yourself because of a man. Ferdinand is not just a man. He is more than a man. And I'm ready to do anything just to have him. Fighting your fellow woman over a man is not worth it. So you're not going with me? Yes, I can't do that. Hmm. See, 
My dignity must be protected. I cannot let myself that low. And I advise you, as my friend, not to let yourself low. What the heck? Keep your advice to yourself. Hey! The most beautiful woman of this kingdom! <laughs> the woman! The most beautiful woman of this land! Please stop it, stop it. I don't like it. I mean, when will I ever come here and drive in without being interrupted? Very soon. Why must I horn and horn and horn? Yet you won't open the gate for me. Very soon. In a jiffy, we are almost there. When you will be allowed to park your car anywhere you like. Nobody will ask you to repark or if you like, you can even park your car in the parlor and nobody will save him. I am not comfortable with it, honestly. You can even do it. I don't like... Hold on. Don't be distracted. Let me know who the hoodlum is. The terrorist versus the robber that want to attack my boss. Just in a while. In a while. Why are you blocking the way? Should I drive in instead? Uh, uh, no, 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 don't drive in. You don't need to drive in. Just we, we then let me in. go inside. Uh, please, my princess, don't go inside. Inside will be too hot for you. You are a princess of this land, and the hotness will affect your soft skin. Eh? I, will, I will appreciate it. If you tell me anything you want to tell me here and go, better you come back. Wait, hold on. Did Ferdinand tell you not to let me in? Ferdinand traveled to Benin. He's not around. Yes, you can go. Just go. <laughs> my, VIP. What are you talking about? Look, I already gave you a goat, and I have every right to push you aside and go in. I am a moving train, and nobody can stop me. Hey, my princess, my princess, hey, my princess, hey, no, no, hey! Oko Toliwa, hey, 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 do not, do not speak, do not. So this is it. This. This is hey, 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 hey! I said do not utter a word. That's exactly what I just said. Keep mute! So this, this is it. Right? Listen. Grace, or whatever your name is called, Ferdinand is my man. He loves me a lot. And he has told me everything, virtually everything you've been doing. Reducing yourself, trying to seduce him. But he has been rejecting you. Even the get man already told me how you've been cheapening yourself, throwing yourself at him. My dear, can't you shamelessly give up? Can't you? Must you bring royalty to this level of ridicule with your classlessness? Must you? <laughs> Ijema, ain't you an object of ridicule like this? Stop deceiving yourself. I already know the truth. This same security man already told me everything. I know that Ferdinand is not dating you. All you do is throw yourself cheaply at him, even when you know that he is not interested in you. He doesn't want you. And you believe that? Then you must be a big fool to have thought in this little head of yours that Ferdinand, my man, would choose you over me. Never. Let me tell you, you are a low budget princess. Shifting yourself. Embarrassing royalty. What the hell? What do you think of yourself? Now let me tell you something, dear. You can never measure up with me. We are not in the same class. Now get this into your thick skull. Ferdinand is my man. My man. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Firstly, I am a princess mm. and that's royalty flowing through her veins. That you can never have. Secondly, mm. I am proud and I like it that way. Are you aware that he invited me over to spend the weekend with him and I said no? He's been calling and begging me to come spend the weekend with him at Abuja but I refused. Hi, auntie. I am only here because the king sent me on an errand. I am not cheap like you. Take your cheap, useless, naughty self out of my sight. Look at this insane entity. You think I'm here to banter wet with you? Oh no, you are no level of mine. Okotoligba, I'm out of here, please. Hey, Bali! Where do you think you going? Bali, I'm here! Hey!
Um, sweetheart, please, can I see you in private? Ferdinand, please give me a minute. I did not allow them in. You know, you instructed me that as I'm doing my job, I should not lay a hand on any woman. I did not touch them. They are the ones who push me outside and went against the rule of this presidency. Please permit me to handle two of them. Uh, that's okay, it's fine. They're here now, so it's okay. And go back to your post, I'll take it from you. Thank you, sir. I'm waiting for both of you. I will change you for both of you. No sir. Sir. Honey, please. Can you tell this thing here to excuse us? I want to talk with you. You must be shameless and stupid to say that. No. You are the one who is completely shameless, stupid, insensitive, annoying, and to crown it all, a low-budget princess. What do you think of yourself? What? You are the one who should be ashamed of yourself. Throwing yourself cheaply at a man who clearly doesn't want you. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Fool. Okay, at this point I'm really confused. What exactly is going on? Nothing is going on, my love. Just allow me to sort this prostitute out. <laughs> the whole village is aware that you sold yourself for money before your brother became rich. After being used by thousands of men in your village, you think you can trap Mr. Ferdinand with your decrepit body? That will never happen, not when I'm alive. And you must be a goat, a she-goat for that matter, to have said that. Do you, do you, look at this one. We all know that you're worse than a whore. That was how you slept with all your father's managers. Slept with all of them. Opened your legs shamelessly, right, left, centre, up and down. And that was why your father asked you never to step your miserable foot into his company. Princess, was that not why you were bad? Who on earth is feeding this shameless prostitute with all these lies? Oh, you must Ain't you an object of ridicule? Oh, you must be a fool! You must be very stupid to have said that they are all lies because they are not. Look at you! Talking back at me, when you are completely worn out, you are the one who has the decrepit body. You have the body and not me. All right, that's that's it. That's enough. Fool. That's enough. Stupid and silly. Mark. You are the one who is stupid. DJ Mark. I will kill you. Sorry, my love. Princess. My king. Listen. Will you get up from there? DJ Mark. Get up. E.J. Ma. Get up! E.J. Ma. I don't call your name again. Come here. Come here. Count yourself lucky. Baby, it's just. Okay. I hope you're happy now. You're happy! I hope you're happy now that your side chick is insulting me. For nothing! What have I done to deserve this? Is it a crime to love you? Or am I asking for too much? Am I? Stop. You'd have to stop. For I'm very disappointed in you. Oh! Why would you belittle yourself like that? Oh, you're blaming me? Was she not the one that started it? Were you not there? So I should have stood there and allowed her call me names? No! No! I had expected that you would be more mature, mm -mm. but you could not ignore her. I am even more disappointed in you to think that you have not learned anything from your brother Chifilo. It's very disappointing. Mm. I, 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 I can't hold myself when someone insults me and not to talk of that, that bitch. Language. Listen. Ijema. You caused this. If you didn't go for her, would you have, have, have the mouth to, to talk, talk to me? You caused it. If you continue like this, I'm going to stop you from coming here. You're going to stop me from coming here because of this retarded thing? Language? Oh, goodness! Ijemma. Oh. You know what? 
I think it would be a great idea for you to leave. You go. When you're much calmer, you let me know that I can embrace you. I think it's the best thing because the environment is too bad for me. I can't even stay here. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Before you say anything you want to say, I want you to know that I am not like that. I have, I have never fought any woman before. I have never dragged any man with any woman before. I'm only having fun doing it right now because I'm crushing on this particular man. Princess, I want you to know Let that me finish. I... Look, I've always loved this man. I've always wished to be by his side. Every day I go to his social media accounts just to know the latest about him. I watch the news hoping to see him. Every day I open my door wishing he would be standing in front of me with his charming smiles. I love this particular man. And I don't regret doing anything just to be with him. And have you asked yourself if the one that you do all of this for would not like it? I know. And I'm sorry. I know I must have annoyed you with my attitude. But I assure you, this will never happen again. It's fine then. But if... If I may ask, if... If they say you should choose between Ijima and I, who will you choose and why? I have never really thought about it. But until then... My king, the man of my heart and dreams, the most handsome man in the entire universe. Take a good look at me. I am everything you want and everything you will ever need. I have royalty flowing through my veins. I'm educated, I'm classy, I'm well-traveled and exposed. You know, you could be the next president of this country. And I will make the perfect first lady. No, 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 no! I won't take this! I will certainly not take this! This is unacceptable. I have never been humiliated. Never have I. Never. Look at me. I have been here seeking his attention. And he was there, begging that useless, low-budget princess for her attention. How? Is she finer than me? Is she more intelligent than myself? Or is she sexier than me? I don't understand. No, no, no. This is the height of it. I can't take it anymore. But you cursed others. Yes. If you had listened to me, all this wouldn't have been happening. I told you something, you agreed, and all of a sudden you backed out because you thought you would win him over. So where has this landed you to? Regret. An insult, and being like this. Listen, Brenda, I am ready to do anything right now. No going back at all. I mean, we need to teach that low budget princess a lesson that will shape her next life so that she can avoid men that belong to women of power. Are you sure you're ready and willing to do this? 100%. I am willing to do anything. Anything at all. Fine then. I will give you his number. But make sure you do this yourself. I can handle it. Trust me. And what is the meaning of this madness? How dare you invade my privacy? What are you doing in my house? Will you shut that gutter you call mouth before I cut off your tongue? Hey, 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 look. 
You're not here to play. You listen and do as instructed. Else, we'll have you slaughtered before anyone could get to you. And if you dare scream, I mean scream, huh, you'll see the other side of us. Trust me. Exactly. Would you just keep quiet, you primitive swine? Ooh. What nonsense? What is this? Eh? Grace, what is this? I mean, what is this rubbish? What? So, you feel you can drag a man with the princess of this land? <laughs> you? You think you have arrived because of the little peanuts your brother has. You're not even scared of me. <laughs> Excuse you? Scared of who? Look at this untamed dog dragging a man up and down. I should be scared of you for what? I mean, why should I be scared of you? Because of these pigeons you came with? You expect me to be scared of you for what? Listen, if you don't leave this in my house, this means I will destroy each and every one of you. Are you mad at something? I'm dead. Are you mad? What? Grace? Are you stupid? How dare you lay your filthy and disgusting hands on me again? Ain't you ashamed of yourself dragging man up and down with a commoner, you presume? What is wrong with you? Huh? He hasn't gotten to this. This is your last morning. If I see you near Ferdinand again, or hear that you are around him, he's a beast out from me. Kill you and throw your body into the river and no one will notice it. Hello. Please, am I speaking with boss? Brenda gave me your number. I've got a job for you. <clears throat> What's going on here? What's going on with you? I saw Mr. Ibeneme driving out and he wasn't looking happy. Here you are wearing a long face. Did you both quarrel or what? But you know that's impossible. He's my boss, so there's no way we can even quarrel. So what happened? Why was he wearing a long face? So he came in and asked me for a favor I wasn't expecting. And I told him no. Why did you deny him? He has a conference in Lagos on Wednesday. And he wants me to go with him. But I told him I can't go. And he understands. Oh my goodness. You refuse to go with him? What are you scared of? That he might drape you or what? Tell me, did I say that to you? He even said that I will have my own suite in the hotel. So this thing you're thinking is not even in the picture at all. Why then did you decline? This is an opportunity most girls are looking for. Why turn it down? My sister called and said she's coming to visit me. That would be so irresponsible of me to travel all the way to Lagos with a man when my sister is coming to visit me. Please, Chamaka, hold your peace. I don't want all this stuff right now. He understands me. That's it. In all honest, babes. Did you to have seen how two grown-up ladies were shamelessly fighting over a man who is not even interested in them? <laughs> Anyways, I've decided that I'll tell my boss to disengage from both of them permanently. Maybe they will reinvent their sanity when that happens.
<laughs> oh. Babes, please. Just find time and come and stay with me. Why? This whole place is boring. Anyways, I'm not complaining. The pay is good. <laughs> Alright, darling. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Jeneka, you are such a terrible liar. I just spoke with your sister now and she confirmed she never called you and she has no plans of visiting. How is that your business? Listen, you are traveling with him. Or oh, I will just go ahead and call him now and tell him you are lying. Oh, you dare not. Don't try it. What exactly is wrong with you? What has come over you? Is it that you don't like good things? Or, 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 or there is something you are not telling me? I have told you. And you just don't want to understand it. What is wrong with you? I've told you this thing over and over again. So what is it? What? Jenica, you told me that he has not asked you out. And this is a beautiful opportunity that he would have proposed to you. And, and what did you do? Propose? You are messing everything up. Who told you that he's going to propose to me? I have told you. I don't want to marry a man like that. I don't want to marry a man in his class and a man who is always in the news. Why can't you just understand it? Chiamaka, get it! Leave me alone! You, ah! need, you need deliverance. You need serious deliverance, Geneka. Eh? I, 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 I've always known you are not normal, but this is the height of it. I have to start praying for you. What's this? You need deliverance. I don't want it on a high key. I want it on a low key, on a low. I don't wanna live a noisy lifestyle. I don't wanna be the topic of the news. Am I saying I'm crazy? Everybody knows what they want. I just wanna keep it low. My princess, my princess. The beautiful princess of Alan. Smile, you are too new for this mission. I have promised to make you my august number one. I'm here to see him. My girl went out. But he will be back soon. I thought you to discuss before you started coming. He went out? Is that why he has not been paid? Anyways, I would have called him to know. It's just that I wanted to surprise him. Now he'll be mad at me for not calling him before coming. Hey, hey, stop. Spare me those rubbish. Stop that nonsense. You can do those things for people who do not know the truth. Not me, Okotoriwa. I live in the truth. Let's work on making uh, my God to love you. Um, how do I make him love me? Beautiful question. My God, he loves women that are hardworking. Women that can cook very well. Let's start with you cooking for him. You will cook for him. Then you will sit down and watch him eat the food. Cook? But I can't cook. I mean, I've never cooked in my entire life. <laughs> then you are not for my yoga. My yoga loves women that cooks very well. You can check the next gate. You see that, 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 that man there? He hates food. Go and try. The gate is open. Can, can I open it for you? If it's for my yoga, you must know how to cook. I think I know what to do. I don't want a life, a life when I keep it cool. Baby, I don't want a life, a life when I keep it cool. Hey, boo, babe. Are you there? I like, call me the queen of this land. I will not give another food today. And who told you that I want your food? So, how may I help you? I don't need your help. You know I can buy any food I want to eat. I'm the one who is here to help you. You, help me. Please get out of here. You can never help me. And moreover, I will never need your help in this life. Your boyfriend's birthday is today. And, from the look on your face, it is written all over you that you are in the mood. You need to be with your guy. But you know that you cannot leave your duty post because if you do, I'll put a call across to the boss. I'll put the mm -hmm. So you, you now eavesdrop on my calls. 
It does not matter anymore. What matters now is that I have decided to release you to go and enjoy with your guy without taking anything from you. Please, I don't have time for your jokes. You know you can never do anything for free. So if really you want to cover up for me, tell me how much you want, let me pay you. Uh, you, you are right. You know me very well. I love gain and business. But presently, I am a changed person. I will cover up for you for three days to go and enjoy with your man. I will use my money and buy anything I want to eat. Three days. And I'm not taking anything from you. I have decided to make everybody around me happy. It's like, are you serious? I should go just like that? Yes. You will go, but on one condition. I'm giving you three days. Three days to go and have fun, enjoy, cruise with your man. I will use my money to buy anything that I want to eat. But that three days must be three days. No extra, no subtraction, no plus. Come here, come here. Thank you very much. It's You're not the best to cook to you, man. Aha, you can say that again. <laughs> anything for you, but one advice. Good job. Can you now see that I can help you? Can you look at me now? As the boss of the house. Somebody cannot play with you again. Mm -hmm. It was all jokes now. Remember? Three days. Three days. No extra. No why not. Three days. No too much lesson. No too much at all. Five minutes. I'll do it. I don't need your best. You have to do it now. If you don't do it, you won't like me. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to understand something, Claire. You see the one preparing the food for my boss to eat? Oh, I allowed you into presidency. And you assume that you are higher than the presidency and you allow your, 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 your maid to prepare food that my boss will eat. It's highly unacceptable. It's a highly insolent and insult and assault to presidency. If you are not going in there to cook this food yourself, consider yourself out of the game. This is a knockout hour. Let me call the gentleman to come and prepare the food for, you, for, for my boss. No, 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 don't worry. Um, um, I'll, I'll just go and do it. Better. Be fast about it. Oh, yeah. This is the third time I'm calling him. 
and he has refused to take my course. Have you seen it? I thought you were agreeing that you will wait until the job is done. I mean, why do you still want to see him? But the job is taking much time. I can't wait anymore. It's as if he's sleeping by. I don't know what is really the problem. He, most times he picks my calls and tells me he's busy. But these days he doesn't even talk to me anymore. I'm no longer comfortable with everything going on. So what do you want to do? I mean, what if he's with the princess and doesn't want you to interfere? He dare not. I mean, with what you've just said, I think I have to go to his house. And oh my God, if I find that whore there, I'll so deal with her. No, I don't think that's a good idea. No, I don't care if it's a good idea or not. I must do it. Who is the close bride? Who is the chosen one? Look, you have to hurry up. The gate man said he's on his way. I don't want him to meet you here. Um, my princess, do you still remember how I told you to serve the fish? Or I should still explain? Don't worry, I can handle that. Just hurry up. And leave. What's happening? You got another fish? Is he back? He's very close to the house. Ten posts away from the house. Uh, where's my own passion of the food? Don't worry, she'll dish your own when she's done setting up the table. Okay. When dishing my own food, make sure you, you overload it with assorted meat. Make sure there is a touch of turkey, touch of chicken, and touch of fish in the food. You understand? Make sure the food is anointed and highly equipped. Very large quantity. Um, it's a cash out time. I know what to do. My beautiful princess, woman of the house, I know what to do. Is it not better I colonize this package and blow the package? I will think about it. Hey! Huh? What's going on here? What? What does it look like is going on? Are you blind? What do they mean? Mm. Do you know that you have taken all the food made for your ogre? I'm, um, I am the ogre of this place, this. Or have you seen any ogre since you came here? And I go over again. I have to post the princess. Do you need one for the potter? I am thinking of helping your waist. My guys are from the budget. Your waist will be very interesting. But I'll give you this one, but you have seen my package. Hi. Security almost emptied that pot of stew and rice. He, he only remained two pieces of meat. And when I told him that we have not removed Mr. Ibn Emes' food, he said that there is no need for that. Can you imagine? What? You mean there's no food for Ferdinand? Um, there is, but very little. What is wrong with this idiot? What kind of rubbish is this? Where is he? Hey! I will be oh, no. Are you okay? What is this? I have been there knocking and you're seated here eating. No one to open the gate for me. This is that gate. That gate needs to be open. Because I'm eating. It needs to be open. What if criminals enters here? That would have given me a better opposition, opportunity to show my talent. No, I have not displayed. Display what? Um, by the way, what are you doing in the vicinity? Where do you know that my ogre traveled? Eh? He traveled without telling me. Now who they talk? Now they talk about something today, your boss. My ogre don't ever. You know, I've heard you saying the travel before. 
Are you Not stupid? Why would you talk to me in that manner? You, you, you don't know how to talk to people. What's that supposed to mean? You don't have manners or what? What I mean by that is that me and you, we know your level in my guest life. Mm -hmm. We know that you are very close to sending out. But the good news is that Mr. Kotoriba Abonyogwe have decided to help you upgrade your level from ordinary visitor into the madam of the house. That would be only if you are ready to work with my plans. So stupid plans. You see, my organ like old men. Women will sabi. Babes where they sharp. Babes where they very caring. Babes will sabi cook. If you can be able to put yourself in the shoe of this type of ladies that my organ will love, I guarantee you will become his wife. And how on earth am I supposed to do that? Uh -huh. My God will be coming back tomorrow morning. I would like you to come in the morning. Buy many things you can use to cook delicious food for my boss. Buy it. And then buy expensive wine. With a nice, nice gift. If you do that one, that is step one. I will take you on to step two. Cook? But I don't cook. I mean, I don't have to cook. Mm. In our own uh, um, terms as security agents, we call it over the bar. You see, you're coming here, it's useless. Delete my organ from your mind. The game is over. Go home. Use that gate. Oh, it's please. Open. Oh, please. Can you please be, be, be civil? Okay. Well, if that is the only way to be able to, you know, get into his heart, I will cook. Just tell me, what, what, what kind of food does he like? Hey, very good question. You go to that, my post. That chair, don't go inside. Sit in that chair, have the menu there. I will come and tell you hey, what you love most. But first of all, tomorrow, you have to be here very early. So before he comes, you'll be perceiving the sweet aroma. Of your delicious meal from a enough. Let me give you the list. I have the menu there. Boyfriend house enjoying and cruising. Why are you crying? It shall never be where we don't get you. Go with policy, my entire generation. That is thing that doesn't want to stay one place to stop working. See, see, this topic you are bringing to my table, I'm, or I'm not used to it. Can you just dwell on the present topic? You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be with your boyfriend cruising and making his day beautiful. Not here crying. Can you tell me what? what do, can you tell me the meaning of this? You're not supposed to be here. Three days. One have not even a student. Men are here. wicked. They are evil. Cheating bastards. Oh, okay. after everything I did for you, I gave you my love, you I body. gave you, you my body. body, I gave you my heart. This is how you chose to pay me back. You will ever regret doing this to me. Can you just open your mother and tell me the meaning of this? This is yeah. wrong timing. You are not supposed to be here. Can you just stand up and clean your tears and go back to your boyfriend's house and enjoy the day? With him? You know, you gave me days off. Yeah, I was spent this spent day with him since Oga is not around. Uh -huh. And you, you, you went to the place. What happened next? I decided not to tell him that I'm coming. I wanted to surprise him. So I called him. He told me that he's, he's out missing me. And I was here feeling fly. 
I want a bought cake, food, drink, plenty of meat. Bring your boys now. I even bought some clothes and shoes for him. I wanted to surprise my boyfriend. Uh, after buying all these things, what have, why are you not crying? Are you crying because you bought this for your boyfriend or his birthday? I don't understand. What is the meaning of this? When I got to his house, I heard a woman's voice shouting. She was moaning. Oh my God, you're killing me. Oh, you're killing me. And why is okay to be now a killer? And why was he killing the woman? <laughs> Tell me, I don't understand this your tears. Reduce your voice and talk to me in plain language. What happened next? I dropped everything I was carrying, tiptoed to his window, only to see Okechuku on top of another woman. Only to see Okechuku killing another woman. Uh, okay, okay uh, stop. Reduce your voice. Stop crying. What about the gifts, the clothes, the cake, and the drink, and the plenty meat you bought for him? Where are those things? I, I left everything there. My legs will not even carry me, nothing will carry those things. You see that particular decision? That is useless decision you've taken all your life. How can you abandon your the things you bought with your precious money? Gifts, clothes, money, cake. You abandon them there and you are here. <laughs> see, clean your eyes. Go back to that house and get everything here. Let's just marry. Never. I'll never go back to that house. I know you will not go. Just test me the address. I'm very good with GPRS, with location finding. I will find myself to his doorpost and bring everything back to the place. I promise you, I will never leave anyone. See, I don't know if you're working me or you're, or you're consoling me. I told you, I'm not going there. I'm not going back there. I will not. Reduce your voice. You will. See, I will escort you. Well, let's get everything here. See, see, can, 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 can we just go outside? Just, just go. I don't even. I don't know. Stop. 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 Just go. Stop shouting. Come on. You men are scorn. I said it and I will continue saying it. And I will not allow any man to hurt us again. I'm going in there, I will wake her up and tell her the truth. You're going nowhere. If you allow the devil to use you to tell her any truth, I will allow the devil to use me and tell boss that you left for your boyfriend. You can baby. tell the gods for all I care. Leave me! Don't oh. provoke me, don't provoke me. Oh. Just, just leave me! The lady of the house, but I told you that he will be coming back early. Look at the time you are coming. Sorry, I was delayed in the market. But don't worry, I'll be very fast. But before you finish this food, nah, hunger will just finish somebody. No, 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 no. Before he gets back, I'll be done with the food. Uh, I promise I'll be very fast. Okay. All right? Uh, uh, okay. You know, you have to be very fast because uh, it will not really work if I'm working for you and you'll be using your hand to spoil your own thing. I will not spoil it. Don't worry. You don't have an issue. Eh? Yes. Let what me a, just go. What about the expensive one I told you? Everything is here. Don't you trust me? Trust me, the sharp. No, don't worry. Hey, the sharp. Hey, Ed, don't use your hand as point to you, so. Oh, no. Make sure that the food is very delicious. Yes. <laughs> one down. Two down. Yes. No. Hey, this is our which will spoil something for me. No! Thank goodness you are here. Um, I really want to prepare something for Yoga. So I would like you to help me out in the kitchen while I do the cooking. Which of my Yoga? The one that traveled or what? I know he traveled. But I want the food to be ready before he returns. Right? Mm. Who told you he's going to come back today? I don't mind. Like, what do you mean um, going to come back today? Is there? Um, woman of the house. You're welcome, please. Come. I don't understand. Come on, <laughs> Any me. You're very wicked. And I'm not allowing you to deceive those guys anymore. Leave me. So don't provoke oh, me. Don't provoke me. me. No. Listen, listen. You know if I ask you to give me food, you will end up giving me very low quantity of food. And now we have somebody that's ready to give us food. You give me low food, useless food with miserable to meat. Somebody is here to give us a whole pot of soup with plenty meat and drinks. And you're here to spoil it. Are you high? Going bigger, come down my stupid boyfriend. 
and you are making sure you people will pay for the same women in this town. Uh, uh, okay. Just leave me. Uh, 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 you know, you know what? I want to ask you a question. What is your business inside my business? Eh? What do you want to spoil you for me? Wait, 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 calm down. Calm down. You, you, you want to go inside, right? Calm down. <laughs> but you need to be very fast if you want him to eat this food. Is he back? He will soon be back. Okay. Hey, Uncle Tolia, I was even going to call you, eh? Look, the work is too much for me. The vegetables are plenty. Uh, I need to pound yam. My yam is almost done. Please, would you help me pound the yam when he's ready? What? I have never pounded the yam all my life. I don't know how to pound. In fact, I don't even know how to raise the what is it called up and thing. I don't know how to do it. I have people that I employ that are there to pound anything that I feel like eating. If it's apple, eat them or pound them. They are there to pound it. I don't know how to pound it, and I don't want to start the stress now. You cannot tell me you don't know how to pound them unless you don't want to help. Okay, that reminds me. Where is the Ebube? So she can come help me out. Ebube is very far. She's not anywhere close. She's very far from here. I would have made rice, so I would have made rice. How can you make rice? I've told you that my uncle's favorite is vegetable soup with pounded They are well pounded. Why would he? And you're talking about rice. Why would his favorite be, be, be this difficult to make? Eh? Are you not a woman? It's like you're not serious. Are you not a man? Eh? Every full flesh man should know how to pound yam. Why can't you not pound yam? I don't know how. I'm not used to pounding yam, but I know how to pound packaging. I pound things that have legible you pound again. packages, different th different sizes. And what is packaging? You will not understand. It's an uh, advanced word. Listen, it's like you're not serious. I've told you that my girl will never look at you if you don't know how to cook. So if you're not ready to cook and you don't know how to cook, you need to leave. Don't tell me that now. Help me now. Help me, Okotoli. Help me. This work is just way too much for me to do. Oh, oh. Woman of the house! Forget that I'm here. I'm not here. In fact, I have never entered this kitchen. Once the food is ready, just call me, I will answer you. Our beautiful wife, you are doing well. Baby, you can't do it. Here. I, will, I will lock you up for one month. Hello. Quiet, quiet. Calm down, calm down. I will open the door for you once she leaves. And I want you to calm, be coming down small, small. You all men are wicked. But I will make sure you pay for this. Are you talking to me? See, listen. Don't think I'm begging you to calm down because I am scared of your noise. No. I am begging you to calm down because that vegetable soup and pandadiam is highly anointed. I would not like to bring the food for you when you'll be on the floor fainting or fidgeting. I would like you to reserve your energy. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Everybody wants to prove. Yeah. It's so special, the dream of every woman. It's never like other man. Everybody wants to prove. The question. It's not easy, you're supposed to be quiet. It's not easy. Eh? Please, can you come and help me? Make sure there is no hole in this. My, my boss is hitting for it. What do you mean by your phone? Your phone is the little on, on, on cross seed. You see? I want to tell you a story of a new wife. A new wife is somebody that will. Ah! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is. Since you can be hearing the presidency, eh? <laughs> a good wife will go down with her name. Band it very well. You can have a baby. You never need. You never be a man. You are very good. Band it. You must make a good wife. Oh, 
What are you doing? Eating, of course. Eating how? You're not supposed to be eating here now. This place is meant for your car. Take this food and go to your post. Uh -uh. This isn't right. Oh, you want us to be doing things in the right way, okay? No problem. What do you mean by that? What, what are you trying to do? To call my boss, of course. And tell him what? Stop it. Uh -uh. Someone cannot joke with you. Besides, you know this is supposed to be a surprise. Oh yeah, if that will make you happy, eat here. Or you have to be fast because your guy shouldn't meet you eating where he eats. Uh, 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 we are very fast. Right? The food is very sweet. It's very sweet when you've not even tested it. From the aroma, it's very sweet. Why? You are not talking like the madam of the house. You are very good. Don't do food. fast. Uh, you, you eat and talk. You don't have to do table manners. You make a good wife. Why? I know when you will finally become the madam of the house, I'll be very fat. My, 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 my head very big. Beautiful, everybody. Calm down. See, by the time you open that last, you will call me a good man. You will not know why they call me Okotori Babo Nyokwe. Open the food, you will bless, you will pray for me. Open this door for me now. I want to come outside. Leave the cry, just relax. Very soon, she's about to leave. Once she leave now, I'll bring her one glass of wine, one bottle of wine for you. Eh? By that time, you'll be singing Okotori Babo is good. Eh? Calm down. back. I've been calling him. He hasn't been taking my calls. What's the problem? Why will you call him? I told him not to call him that my boss. My boss loves surprises. Why do you want to do that? What do you mean by that? I mean, what do you mean that I shouldn't call him? He's past eight already and he isn't back. I mean, what do you expect me to do? I expected it to be patient. I expected it to obey the simple rule of the game. The same way that my boss would have loved it. Why are you being disturbed? I am not being stubborn. I just need to know what's up with him. I'm human for crying out loud and the food is getting cold. That's what I'm trying to call him to know what's up with him. Mm, what's up with him is that uh, you have to leave. What? What? What exactly do you mean by that? He sent me an, an email just some seconds ago that he was coming. He was very close to Abu. You now receive an emergency and important test with an order from presidency that you should turn back and return back to Abuja. As I'm talking to you now, it's very close to Lokoja. What? After all this suffering and everything, he's gone back to Abuja? Yes. Eh, uh, well... Uh, what am I expected to do now? What I expected to do now is that you have to leave. <sighs> Because, you know, with the, pers with, the, with the effort and the suffering that you have suffered in the kitchen preparing that food. That is my problem! It is just a seed that you have sown. It's a sure seed that your mission must come to pass. It's not an easy one. So, things that are quality, that are quality... I don't want to hear all these things. Must, must not come easy. Don't expect it to come easy. There's no need now. Let me just go. Sweet dreams, my... my the level with the class! Sweet dreams! I'll make sure that if you return from Abuja, your food will be in the freezer. 
Yes, I know. I know that. Please don't touch me. Please, please, I'm begging you. My mother is very sick in the village. And I am the only hope. The only hope. The only person that can take care of her. Please forgive how, how, me. How, how is this my business? Please, do not please report. excuse me. If you report me to Oga, hey, I'm gone. Please don't do this. Please don't report me to Oga. Just stop pretending. I can see through you. You're a very wicked man. Yes, I, 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 don't I don't touch me. I, I, please, I accept that I'm very wicked. But you see the wickedness, that spirit of wickedness is not in me. Hi. Hey! Hi! Hey, Ibube, please. There is a ritual they asked me to perform. And I did not perform it. I think, hey! I think that the spirit of wickedness emanated from that, 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 my inability to perform the ritual, please. You're talking arrogant nonsense and you know it. By the time I'm done with you, you learn how much to treat me. Excuse me. Hey! Ibube! Ibube, please! Please forgive me. It's not intentional, please. Parties, different type of parties. I've been trying to perform myself with all manner of prayers. I have prayed with Oji. I have prayed with Oji. I have prayed with Goro to see if the spirit can leave me, but it's not working. Please, I need help. I need help. Uh, Moko Toliwa. Sir. If malaria is what you're suspecting, I think that you should see your doctor. Okay, yes, go to the doctor, see the doctor so that they can give you some medications to help you. Sir, it's beyond doctor settlement, please. I need to go to my village and visit a particular doctor. In Osoboro. His name is Ekusigo. He will take care of me permanently without any, any problem. Please. Please. If you open your mouth, nothing will come out. What? This is unbelievable. How could he do a thing like that? Obe, are you sure of what you're telling me? Yes, sir. You can call Ijeman and ask her yourself. What, Ijeman was there when he locked you up? Yes, but you didn't see him locking me up. <laughs> I see he's tired of his job. Call him for me. Okay, sir. He's tired of his job. Please. Take it easy on him, please. Hello? Hello, sir? Yes, I am. How about you, sir? Okay. Oh, now? Oh, okay. Right, sir. Right. Sir, it's like you are leaving. Oh, yes. I'm stepping off for a bit. Um, it's impromptu, but also very important. Okay, sir. I would. I'd let you know when I return. Okay. Huh? Take care of yourself. That's fine. Mm. Why would you think that I would ignore your calls on purpose? No, I wasn't. Right? I was in a conference, and immediately I got out, I got a call from your brother to be here because it's urgent. That's what happened. That's a lie. You were not in any conference. So why are you lying to me? 
EJ I feel very insulted right now. Why would you suggest that I'm lying to you? Why would I lie to you? Do I know? I have no idea. Maybe you should tell me why you are lying to me. You know what? I'm here to see your brother on an important issue. We'll talk about this. No, no, no. We're not talking about it next time. We're going to talk about it right now. And you will tell me why you had to lie to me. Why are you doing this to yourself? I mean, look at you. Why do you think that it is necessary to do this to yourself? Why are you making the life of everyone around you difficult? I haven't done anything wrong. I'm only asking why you refuse to tell me the truth. You lied to me. Upon that, you refused taking my calls. Why would you do anything like that? Is it right? Is it? Is everything okay, sir? I should be asking you this. Why are you doing this? What did I do, sir? Why are you doing this to yourself? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. I have been watching you and my sister closely for some time now. Or do you ever think I'm blind? Sir, I... I'm sorry. Look, I was waiting for the... Listen. Don't ever make the mistake of marrying out of sentiment. There are a whole lot of things you can actually do out of sentiment. Certainly not marriage. Marriage is a serious business. Much more deeper than you can ever think. It's not politics. If you ever marry out of sentiment, you are going to live the rest of your life regretting it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank uh, you, sir. I, I know you're more relaxed. You're a bit comfortable, right? So let me tell you the truth. You are like a younger brother to me. Whatever I cannot advise my younger brother or son, I cannot tell you to do. Just follow your heart. Don't do anything because you want to please me. You've done enough already. You haven't tried. Trust him. Thank you, Chief. Welcome. So, are you in for a drink? Yes, sir. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yes. Thank you, sir. Oh. You would not believe it. <laughs> One down. <laughs> Where are you? Of course, I'd like for you to come over immediately. Oh, yes. Yes. See you then. Please, sir, please forgive me. This is the handwork of our of our the, of the, the, the devil. Please, please, please sir. I'll go to the war. Sir. I need you to leave. I am going to visit your case later. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. This is not over. What you did was wrong. I would have to pay for it somehow. Uh, uh, please, please forgive me. It's the handwork of the devil from my village. You don't ask me to forgive you. Don't apologize to me. Go and apologize to him. If she forgives you, then we can take it from there. Thank you, sir. So thank you. Get out. Yes, sir. Biko, please forgive me. Please, I promise you that this type of thing will never happen again. It's the handwork of the devil. The devil has been using me to cause havoc everywhere I pass. If I pass, evil will happen. It is not in me. It is the handwork of the devil. Please, Ebube, forgive me. I don't want to lose my job. I beg you, for God. Please. Ebube, Biko. Ebube, please. Ebube, please, I beg you. And I want to pray for you. If you 
if you forgive me this one, God will provide you with a caring and loving and rich Richard Amaoga, a man that will love you, that will never cheat on you as a husband. Please, Elube. I'm saying husband, I will not forgive you again. Who told you I want to marry? I don't want to have anything to do with any man in my life again. I'd rather remain single until I die. Please leave me alone. Elube. But if you forgive me, Almighty Father, to so walk any banana, we provide you with a woman that is beautiful, loaded in front, loaded in the back, that will take care of you from now to eternity all your life. Don't that fire you there. Do I look like a lesbian in your eyes? In fact, I will never forgive you again. Ebe, Ebe, why are you frustrating me? Why you, why you, why you, why you, why you, why you spoiling show? I am on my turn over, my turn over. Oh, my God, Are you, are you shouting at me? No, no, I'm trying to tell you that from the uttermost part of my heart, from the innermost part of my heart, I'm begging you in my dialect to forgive me, please. Ebe, 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 I know you as a beautiful woman with a beautiful heart. Don't allow the devil to use you not to forgive me. That unforgiveness spirit is higher than the one that is operating in me. Allow me to take over you, Ebube. Please, Ebube. I am begging you. Let me come. We don't have time for this, please. Ebube, allow me to come and can start your paradise. Wash all the plates that you will do. Wash. I will do all your chores today. Or oh, oh, better stay. Just tell me the prayer point that you want me to pray for you because God will answer my prayer. Say it. Let me pray it once. Just go back to your room and pray for yourself. Rubbish. Ebe. Ebe, enjoy the event. Please, Ebe, soon. Hi. So thank you when disturbing yourself over something he wasn't even paying attention to. Yeah. So one down, one more to go. You are so unbelievable. What have I done? Thank God. <laughs> you should be sad that you just lost a beautiful, sweet young girl. And you are here celebrating a girl that would have been gingering your swagger by now. Mm? So men will want to be in your shoes. Oh. True, true. Irony of life. Some men would actually, you know, kill to have EJ. I mean, she's beautiful. She's okay. She's a good person. But, uh... whew. She's not the one. Mm. Why is she not the one? She lacks some qualities that I seek in life. Mm. So my friend has all the qualities you want in a wife, right? Oh, yeah, Skinnika is in the class of her own. Mm. <laughs> the way she, the way she talks, the way she moves, the way she carries herself, the way she reasons. Her, her values as a woman, you know, everything about her just makes my heart skip a beat each time with, I'm with her, but she doesn't even know. And oftentimes I look at her and I tell myself, I can't wait to make this woman my wife. Hmm. So what are you waiting for? Well, you would agree with me that I had to get this woman off my back first before I can proceed, right? <gasps> But we just confirmed one down. We just did. Right? We just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, there's more work to be done. We'll get there. The clock is ticking. I know. I'm following my heart. Huh? Chief Hilo told me today to follow my heart. It's about time. Right. <sighs> yes. No. I want you to listen to me attentively. 
so that you would not say that I never warned you. Henceforth, henceforth, you're not allowed to have any kind of conversation with any of my guests. Yes, sir. Listen to me. If they have my permission to be here, all you hold them is open the gate or close it when you need to. Yes, sir. If they tell you that they need anything, you tell them to call me. Better still, you call Ibube. Yes, sir! To sort them out. Okay, sir. Okotoliwa, am I very clear? Very clear, sir. I am going to be watching you through my CCTV camera. Okotoliwa, if you as much as default without my permission, I will send you back where I caught you. I will never, I will never repeat it. It will never happen. Not in this life. Not on my last life. I promise you that, sir. Hey, no. It will never happen. It will never be. In fact, if that devil that will make it to happen, I have killed the devil. I have swallowed him. I have brought him to ashes. Hey, it will never happen, my God. Thank you, sir. Have you been able to take anything? Oh, all right. I'll make our time to come and visit you in the hospital then. Eh, that means I'll come straight to the house. All right. Please be strong for me. Eh? Take good care of yourself. I love you. All right, I'll talk to you later, okay? Thank you very much for forgiving me. If there is no sin, there will be no forgiveness. Why did you change your mind? My boyfriend called me. He started begging and telling me that he can never cheat on me again. That he has not eaten since I refused to pick his call. He was even rushed to the hospital because he became sick. Oh, oh my goodness. I have to forgive him. And thank goodness I did though. Come to think of it, what if something terrible happened to him because I refuse to forgive him? And from all you just said now, are you telling me that you are forgiving him? Yes. And um, we are now stronger. And no weapon passion against our relationship shall ever prosper again. Hi. We need to read it And what did you say? Uh, it's a new version of prayer. The, what I was trying to pray for you is that this is your reunion that two of you have gathered. You see, the marriage, the marriage that you people are about to get to, it shall be permanent. Amen. Every human being that wants to come against it, we will crush it. By fire, by thunder. <laughs> Amen, my brother. Mm. You see, on your traditional marriage, you call your, your members well, now. We will be there. We are prepared. We will scatter everywhere. I can't wait. Hey, the reunion, permanent. Amen. Permanent. Eh. Permanent. <laughs>
such a gentleman. Look at you. You calm, cute, and you're very strong. You look like a man who will calmly deal with a woman in the other room. I thought you said that you had a message from the king for me. Is that what I said? Yes, that's what you said when you called me on the phone. You told me that your father had left you a message for me, that you'd like to see me to deliver the message. Oh, that must be a mistake. I actually called because I wanted to tell you something. Okay. What is it? I got a job in Abuja. You did? But I don't have a place to stay. They said I should get a place to stay while they sort out my accommodation. Okay. Uh, what kind of job? Um, it's... I... Um, I work, uh, it, it, it's about, uh, it's furniture business. They deal in furniture and they intend to make me one of their sales manager. Sales manager? Yes. You sure it's the kind of job you can do? Sure. Ah, I see. What part of Abuja? Asokoro, your area. Hi, bro. <laughs> I have a friend. I have a friend who owns a hotel in Asokoro. I can tell him to assign one of these uh, hotel suites to you, you know, to help you settle in, depending where you get yourself a house that you'd like. No, I, I hate hotels. It's not comfortable for me. It's whenever I'm in a hotel, I don't get to sleep at night. <sighs> okay, so. I. I want to stay in your house. Pick the damn call. What is wrong with this lunatic? I just did my own. Wahala. Wahala go just a five person. Wahala go just five person the call. Camera, you see. Why is this fool not picking his calls? Holiday, I my own. Camera, salut. Please permit me to to off this phone outside. They are trying to disconnect me. Please, camera. Thank you. Um, hi, Okotoli. How are you? You need to be very fast. I am on a special duty today. I am not supposed to be answering any call. Um, please, I need a favor from you. You don't need to worry. Don't even call for my yoga. I have discovered a solution. How you will get to my yoga without even coming to his house again. Well, uh, listen, listen, just calm down. Listen, you talk too much. I, I want to find out if the princess is still coming around. Does she still come around? I have a first class information on how you will get to marry Oga. Have children for him. But I will only give you the information if you are ready to pay. Name your price.
けないか。Something I'd like to tell you after work. I mean, is it after this project or after today's work? After this project. Okay. Go and come back. I don't think she will still come back today. I would rather wait for her. No. What kind of what kind of foolish love is this now? Eh? I've been waiting for a while. Why didn't you call? I, I did call, but your number wasn't connected, so... You okay? I'm, I'm fine, but I'll be, f I'll be better if you grant my wish. What? You say over times I have searched for someone like you. Someone that brings peace. Someone that brings... Joy and harmony. I want to officially ask you to be my girlfriend. Eh? Ina Abdala! I cannot take this anymore. I have to do something. I mean, something has to be done. Someone should just help me out, please. But I thought Brenda gave you someone's number to take care of the princess. What happened? Are you still with us? Oh, you did not hear that those useless boys said that they are so scared to harm the princess. What? That they are scared of uh, the staff of the king of Osili. Therefore, they cannot harm royalty. I wonder what is royal about that shameless, classless girl who throws herself cheaply on men. Had it been all this was executed since, I would have nothing to worry about. Then let's look for someone else to do the job. I'm sorry, I don't have another person who can do this job very well. Um, unless I will make few calls and... Just check, make calls, help me, my friends. I really need to come out of this. Make calls. Even you, chat, please, just... Hasongini, help me. I need to do this. I am tired already. I mean, this girl has become a thorn on my flesh. Well, listen guys, I mean, if there's no one else that can do this, we can basically just do this ourselves. Why do we have to keep waiting? What? Are you out of your mind? She is not out of her mind. We need to do something. Anyhow, we need to help her. Of course we are going to help her, but we cannot do it ourselves. You see, when, when I was little, I used to do this for my mother. I don't want it on a high key. I want it on a low key, on a low. I don't wanna live a noisy lifestyle. I don't wanna be the topic of the news. Gonna say I'm crazy. Everybody knows what I want. I just wanna keep it low. This is just the life I want. What I want, I don't want a high life. High life, wanna keep it cool. I don't want a high life. High life, wanna keep it cool. I don't want a high life. High life, wanna keep it cool. I wanna keep it cool. Yeah. I don't want the high life, high life, wanna keep it cool, wanna keep it gay. Something you want so bad, maybe the same thing I detest, the same thing yeah. I detest. Everybody have their lifestyle Everybody have their visions and goals But this is what I want A cool life with no much stress 
this. But, but you know, I really, really do love you. Like, from my heart. And I love you too. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. There's a way this thing used to do me in my heart anytime you see it. Yeah. Stay together. <laughs> You're so sweet. I just want to keep it Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Oh, uh, slow down. Why do you sound very agitated? Is that a problem? Sir, um, I want to know, do you really like my friend? Yes, I do. Do you really like Ginika as you said? Or you just like her as a staff? Why all these questions? You already know the answers to these questions. Sir, you are wasting time. Call her. Speak to her. Tell her how you feel about her. Before someone else takes her away from you. Listen, nothing will happen. No one will take her away, okay? I am going to talk to her about it after this project. After this project is too far. Please, speak to her now. It's urgent. Chabaka, rest easy. What will be, will be. I don't even know the way he, you, you reason sometimes. So you just need to speak to her. It's very urgent. This is just the life I want, what I want, I don't want a hard life, hard life, wanna keep it cool. The one and only classless princess, Grace of Osili, a coward that has refused to learn. I am here just to give you one word, just to drop a word for you. Stay away from Ferdinand. Am I understood? Ain't you a fool? I mean, you brought these things to come do what? To come for me? I can see that your foolishness is incurable. But don't worry, I'll cure your foolishness for you. But you are the bigger fool, you know, because you have refused to respect yourself. I mean, why is it so difficult for you to keep yourself together and stop throwing yourself cheaply at men and leave my own man for me? Why is it so difficult for you to do? Why, Ijema? All you do is talk, talk, talk with less action. You're too noisy. You make too much noise. Yes, That's I agree. all you do. I agree. Who is your man? Who made him your man? Yes, I totally agree that I make noise. I have no doubt about that. But you understand the meaning of what you just said when I see you very close to Ferdinand again. I mean, what is wrong with you? Aren't you supposed to be a princess? Aren't you supposed to have prestige? Aren't you supposed to be unique? But no, you are there useless in yourself. Can't you respect royalty? What is wrong with you? You are everywhere. Must you be cheap? Must you? No, listen and listen real good. I haven't come here to exchange words with you. No, 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 no. I'm too big for that. Just stay away from Ferdinand. And what will you do? I mean, what is the least thing that you can do? No, no, no. No, Brenda, come off it. You want to do what? Come off it, baby girl. We aren't here to touch her. Because once I do that, she will die. Oh, police. I don't need my friends to deal with you. I don't need like it. Like I said, single handedly, I will beat you, you black. You will beat who? Beat you. I'll lock your ass I'll off. Beat you. I'll lock your ass off. Have you been able to do that? I'll lock your ass off. Have you been able to lock me up? Thank your stars. I'm Have not going to you move been that. able? Thank your stars. Well, I'm not you here to, to shout. Shame. I'm not here to shout because you are the madman right now. You are, you are the one you screaming. You are to your brother you are the and one your family. Who, aren't you a disgrace to, to this community? You call yourself Please a princess? Get the story out of my no, view. I will stop leave when I want my to. Movement. I will leave when I want to. My movement. I will leave. Get your talk out of my view. You leave. I will get leave when my... I want oh, to leave. Why are you very going anywhere? Princess, I will leave when I want to leave. You will not tell me when to leave. You dare not. Take your call and that's Let's go, boy. 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 Let's go
I wish I was dead. I would have taught her the lesson she will never forget in a hurry. See, girls, we need to pay her a visit and teach her not to mess with you again. That girl is so lucky that we're not there. Look, princess, we have to do something about it. We can't let it slide. Yes. yes. Girls, calm down. <laughs> I'll handle this my way. Are you guys not tired of all this? See, Princess Grace, you are my friend. I know who you be. I know that you deserve better than this guy. See, we all know that this guy no send you. This guy no send you at all. This guy, he doesn't respect you. He disregards you everywhere. He treats you like trash. Send. You are a princess for crying out loud. Many young men out there are dying to spend the rest of their lives with you. Why are you doing this? Why? Hey. Madam Motivational Speaker, will you keep quiet? Right. Uh uh. Must you talk? <sighs> Girls. This whole thing is overwhelming. I think I need a vacation. I need a serene environment to think. You really need to think about it. Is what it, my friend. Gemma. Yeah. I like your person. No doubt. I personally think that you're an amazing woman. But we can't be a thing. I don't feel that kind of way for you. Look, any man in his right senses would give an arm and a leg to be with a woman like you, given your very wonderful background as well. What I'm asking is that you, you give yourself a chance to meet someone out there who deserves you. Please, friend, don't do this to me. You know, the thing is that I, I love you a lot. I don't think I can ever live without you. Please, don't do this. Don't make this hard. Okay, don't cry. Please, don't make this hard. You'll find yourself a man who deserves you. I'm not the one. It's not me. Just take your time, right? If possible, just give yourself some, some time away from me. You would find yourself a man who deserves you. No, I can't, please. I love you. Please, let's not make this hard. Hey, Gemma, please. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm just not the one. I'm not the one. I want her dead. 
I don't care about anything again. Call whoever that can do this job for me. I want the princess of Osili dead. I don't care anymore. I don't care about what you think. But right now, what I want is for her to die. I want her dead. Suit yourself then. I'll do it myself. Juice is <laughs> Jessica, stop this. No falling. Hello? I'll be on my way. It's okay. I just told you I'll be on my way. Uh -uh, be patient now. Oh, all right, I'm coming. You see me in the jiffy. man on earth have searched around the world and from my heart there's no one that will be compared to you please please be my wife yes I will marry you <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh my <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Ferdinand Ibenebe, thank you so very much. On behalf of the good people of this kingdom, 
I want to thank you so much for all the good things you've done for our people, all the wonderful projects you've executed. I can assure you that we'll never forget. Thank you very much, my king. I must say that I'm very happy also that the projects were successful. But most importantly, I think that I'm very happy that I have been able to help my community through your help. My son, we are proud of you. And you will be rewarded, not only by us, but by God. Thank you. Like I said earlier, uh, without your help, all that I have done wouldn't have been accomplished. So thank you too for being a great king. You are a good man. <laughs> and um, God will always be God in all your affairs. Mrs. What? Hello? Hi! <laughs> Surprise! What is going on here? I said yes to the love of my life. What? You said what? I said yes to Rebecca. Yes. Oh, you're just a fool. Congratulations, though. I wish you the best. Is it, it's not okay. It's okay. Baby! I'm here. Oh. Ebele. Ebele. Yes, my princess. Please give me my juice. I don't know what you're planning to do. I don't know how angry and how pained you are. But what I know for sure is that this is not what you're killing your fellow human being. I don't know, just listen to me, please. I love Ferdinand. I really love Ferdinand de Beneme. But he told me to my face that it can never work between us. And it's unacceptable to me. Why would he say anything like that to me? Just because of her? No! I will not take it. I will have to kill her. Let's see who he's going to get married to. No. I will never allow her to take my man. Never! It will not happen. Wait. You're going to kill her? What if something goes wrong? Are you ready to face a death penalty just for a man? Nothing will go wrong. Nobody will find out. I did it in a way that it will never be traced back to me. Nothing is perfect. Yes, anything can go wrong. Look, Ijema, just listen to me. You don't need to go this far. It's not worth it. She needs to die. She has caused me so much pain. No, I can't take this. Listen, I, I gave her maid something to poison her. And I'm sure it will not be traced back. No, it will not. So what if she gets caught? and confesses that you are behind all this. 
What will you do? No, she would she would do no such thing. Okay, fine. So what if they now take it the native way to Alusi? To find out what happened to the princess? What will you do? No, what will you do? Wow. Honestly, I I never thought of that. Yes. Come on, I told you, stop. This is not worth it. Hello? Ebere? How far have you gone? Hmm. I'm already doing it. She will soon drink it. Don't worry yourself. You will soon receive the good news. No, 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 listen, listen, no, 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 don't, 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 listen, I, don't do it anymore. I don't want her dead, okay? Um, um, I'm going to give you your balance. You don't have to worry yourself about that. But I don't want you to kill her again. I'm no longer in support of it, please. What are you trying to say? She deserves to die. And she must die. That girl. Do you know what I have suffered in the hands of that wicked princess? No, listen, I don't care if you don't want to kill her anymore. But what I know is that she deserves to die. I, I, I asked you to do this, okay? And I'm telling you that I do not want it anymore. Uh, we can actually deal with her we, without killing her. We mustn't kill her, okay? Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it, okay? Listen, Ijama, she deserves to die. She deserves to die for being so mean and wicked. For not allowing me to see my sick mother before she died. For everyone, she has caused pain. She must pay with her life. Believe me, she will pay with her life. No. You got money what, what did she say? The girl seemed to be very bitter about the princess. I was telling her not to do it and she kept insisting that she would. Can you imagine? Ha! Huh? Ebele! Ebele! I'm already here, my princess. What is wrong with you? What took you so long to bring the juice? Do you know how long I've been waiting here? Why are you so lazy? You're so stupid and you're nonchalant. You're useless to me. Behaving like some dead body. My friend, give me the juice and get out. Give it to me. What? How did... You are so lucky she changed her mind. And I'm scared of going to jail. You know what? I resign. And don't bother looking for me. Because I'm already living in the village. We can Jezebel. Just be hating a maker for no reason. I'm against him because of the kind of man he is. He impregnated a girl of 19 years old, promised her heaven and earth, abandoned her. The girl almost took her life. You can verify this story if you want. That's a lie. I am not done. The second girl he impregnated was lucky to find a man that married her. Now, are you expecting me, Chiamaka, to fold my hands and watch that same man ruin my best friend's life? No way. Chiamaka, why are you lying? Why? Why are you doing this? Oh, okay. Please. Ask questions before you allow him to come see your parents. I've been wanting to tell you this. But I don't know how to go about it. I'm so sorry it had to go that way. Ah, it's okay. It's not your fault. That things turned out the way it did. It's also not her fault, you know. 
uh, it's not her fault. Um, I guess that um, the lesson is learned. I've learned not to procrastinate. Yeah. What will you do now? Ah, why not go back to the princess? She loves you. Uh -huh. The princess? To be honest with you, I have been thinking about her. That's how it starts. Nah, no. <laughs> no, I have to go on a short getaway. I need to just go away for a bit, you know, stay away from work, you know. Change of environment, you know, all of this drama, just get away. Probably travel to somewhere like the Caribbean. And then when I return, then I'll know if the princess is the one. <laughs> Money is good though. See the way you are talking about going to the Caribbean as if you're going to go here. Eh? No, it's, it's not a big deal. Come on. It's a big deal. Do you know how I have been planning, dreaming to travel overseas <laughs> all my life? Are you eh? serious? I'm very serious. So. Ah, it's okay that you can, you can pack a little bag and come with me, travel together. If, you know, if, you, if that would give you the joy and the experience that you see, it's, it's okay. You Are you serious? It's okay. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'll be traveling overseas! Stop being dramatic, it's just a... Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> it's okay, you can help me. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I swear to God, it's a lie. Leave me. They're lying. They're lying against me, please. I'm not lying against you, Emeka. What do you take me for? A fool? Is that what you take me for? No, no, honey, I don't take you for a fool. See, I've, I've refused to address this. All this white boy is hurting me so bad now. What are you? They are okay. Your time is over in this house. Oh, yeah. Start going now. Mm -hmm. If you don't leave this house, I'm going to scream, thief. Oh, she. Hey! If you don't leave this house, I'll scream now. Oh, no, she. Stop, 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 stop. Come and leave, you. You see what you have cost? You see it? Oh yeah, leave! Leave! You don't give a time. Go down! You don't give a time. I want you to forgive me for hurting you. Forgive me for being a terrible child, for not listening to you. Abelie's actions made me realize that I have hurt lots of people. I want everyone to forgive me. Starting from you. Get up. Sit down. You see, my daughter, a dog does not bite its child to the bone. The truth of the matter is that I've forgiven you. All right? And I pray that every other person that you offended forgives you. But don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Everything will be all right. My princess. Father, I've been so terrible to the extent that Ibele contemplated poisoning my drink. You needed to see the pain in her eyes, the hatred. I wonder what everyone had gone through in this palace because of me. Father, I was scared. And at the same time, I was disappointed at myself for allowing power to take the better part of me. Don't worry. The good thing is that you've realized your mistakes. All right? And you've had a change of heart. And that is what matters, okay? So. Take it easy, okay? Everything will be alright. Thank you, Father. Father, I... I want to let you know that I am no longer interested in getting married to Mr. Fedina Adibinimi. I want to be with a man who has been consistent with me, even with all my bad and repelling attitude. It's alright, my daughter. I love you, my daughter. 
I'm proud of you. Thank you, Father. crying for that low, that low life, that idiot. What are you even doing? <laughs> they lied about you. They lied against you. <laughs> they lied. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, the married one, she came to me and told me that Rebecca is a very good person. Yeah, Mega does not deserve everything he's getting right now. <laughs> she said that she was a virgin, so Mega refused to touch her. So she lied. Completely lied that Mega impregnated her. Meanwhile, her man, whoever the idiot was from the US, came, pregnanted her, and deceived her. So she created everything. So, if that is the truth, what about the other girl? She, she, she lied. She lied. The girl said that Emeka didn't want to have anything to do with her. Nothing. Emeka did not want to touch her, so she lied and said that Emeka impregnated her before the idiot that impregnated her came and married her. This is horrible. And I have been hitting on the poor guy. Eh? How can people be this mean? What? You were only looking out for me. Wait. You have to call him. You have to find a way to talk to him. What if he doesn't talk to me? What if he doesn't pick my calls? He loves you. He would talk to you. He would pick your call. He would listen to you. I'll try. I'll try. So, how long are you staying? Hmm, he said we're gonna stay for one whole week. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, shall <laughs> So cheer up, babes. Don't stop crying, no. <laughs> oh my God. Great. Yes, my love. I am going to be your wife. I feel we should savor this moment and not bring in the past. My love, it is not actually the past, you know. I was shocked when she opened up on her real impression about you. I did not only see frustration, I also saw hatred. And there and then I knew she was willing to go to the extreme to punish you. But she did. Really? She accepted poison for me, Gemma. She even added the substance to my drink. I only survived by the acts of the God of all creation. You know, sometimes I can't help but blame myself. I know you weren't picking my calls and all that, but that notwithstanding, I should have tried harder to see you and warn you that the enemy was within. I'm sorry. Great. Can you stop being hard on yourself? I already made things difficult for you. You know how it would have been if you had told me. Listen, I want to thank you for condoning my bad attitude, bad judgments, ill manners. Look, I vow on my honor to be that wife, that virtuous woman that you'll be proud of. Thank you. Those words actually melted my heart. <laughs> Thank you, my princess, and my word. You're welcome, darling. I'm sorry, my love. I'm sorry. You don't have to say anything. 
I was the one who messed up and I should be the one apologizing, baby. It's okay. It's okay. There's no need to apologize. Let's not go down this road. Okay, you found out the truth. I've, I've been vindicated, you know, and my ring is back on your fingers. <laughs> and we're getting married, that's all that matters. Okay? Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. I don't doubt me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you went with me. But my doors are so fine and fall. I had the best time of my life. <gasps> um, Mr. Wilson Positive made the trip a remarkable one. I'm happy for you. Thank you, my love. I'm happy for you. Thank you, my love. <laughs> and we have set a date for our marriage. Oh my goodness! I am so happy for you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> finally, the truth has triumphed over falsehood. Mm -hmm. And finally, I am getting married to who? Love of oh. my life. Oh. Hey. I am happy for you, my darling. Ah, so, guess what? What? Guess now. But you know I can't guess now. Okay. You met someone in Barbados. Mm, something like that. Which one is something like that? <laughs> okay. Along the line, we're dating, we fell in love, and he is serious. Is it from Nigeria or someone from the positive Mr. Wilson? We're gonna keep talking. What did you say? Is it someone you know? Ferdinand. Even a man! Wait! Sir! You're joking! Yes, I am serious! Just your exact kind of man, <laughs> but the kind of life that you have always dreamed about. Oh my goodness. Come, come, come. <laughs> ah, thank you. Thank you so much. I will forever be grateful to you, my darling. Because you would have gone for him if you had wanted. Ah, he's for you. And there's no way I would have ever gone for him because, number one, I don't like politicians, I don't like the noise and all this exposure. My Mecca. Mm -hmm. is perfect for me. Yes. And guess what? <clears throat> the proposal that Ferdinand helped me submit to the government of Anambra State okay. has now been approved. And a Mecca is the only one that supplies drugs to all the government hospitals in Anambra State. Wow! Whoa. <laughs> it's no longer the pharmacist used to knock. Oh my God! Oh. The dream of every woman is never like other men. Question is, who is the close bride? Who is the chosen one? Yeah. So they are fighting, so they are pushing. Who's gonna win the game? Everybody wins. The game of love, you don't need to struggle. Yeah. For love, but love will find you. It doesn't matter how often you come around. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you have everything in the world. So stop fighting. Love is not about to match. It only comes without struggle. Everybody wants to go. Hey. It's so special, the dream of every woman. Yeah. Everyone is fighting. Everybody so, who's the girl's bride? Who is the 
chosen one Who oh, is the wife we are waiting for Everybody wants to cry yeah. Who is the cross bride? Cross bride Everybody wants to cry yeah. He's so special, the dream of every woman It's never like other men Everybody wants to cry The question is Who is the cross bride? Who is the chosen one? Yeah. So they are fighting, yeah. so they are pushing. Yeah. Who's gonna win the game? Everybody wants to so win the game of love. You don't need to struggle. Yeah. You don't look for love, but love will find you. It doesn't matter how often you come around. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you have everything in the world. So stop fighting. Love is not about to match. It only comes without struggle. Everybody wants to hey, It's so special, the dream of every woman. Yeah. Everyone is fighting. Everybody wants so, to Who's the clones, Brian? Who is the chosen one? Who is the wife we are waiting for? Everybody wants to cry. Yeah. Who is the clones, Brian? Clones, Brian. I don't want it on a high key. I want it on a low key. On a low. I don't want to leave it. Lifestyle. I don't wanna be the topic of the news. I'm gonna say I'm crazy. Everybody knows what they want. I just wanna keep it low. This is just the life I want. What I want. I don't want a hard life. Hard life. Wanna keep it cool. I don't want a Wanna keep it cool I don't want a hard life Hard life Wanna keep it cool I wanna keep it cool Yeah I don't want